Yes. That becomes a force. Your angel I meets know, you. Mm. I heard someone teach that. And I said, that's why he be waiting on me to get there because I can really get loud and praise the Lord. And when I get there, he be waiting on me. I said, Father, glorify you. I magnify you. Whether I get on my knees or stretch out, I just be going for it. Praise the higher. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Wait, let me hold on. Let me get a different color. Yes, I know. I know that. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. Even though I'm kind of quiet, right? I still feel it. I still think it. Did you know, you right here? I did about a month ago. Yeah. Okay. You didn't notice the last week? Oh, okay. I did. I know. Okay. I'm not supposed to. I can't stand color. I can't stand it. Okay. Good job, thank you. Uh, I mean, then, you know, these guys say a few things, you know, here and there, but I mean, it's my individual choice, you know what I mean? I, I like my hair light. I don't like my hair ugly. Hey, come here. So, yeah. So, once we go forth and praise and worship, the angels will come. Yeah. yeah. He took it out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. We're getting underway here. All right. Shabbat Shalom, family. Let me get this praise music jumping. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Babakaya. If you're on, I see that you say Shalom, blessings, family, Shalom. Peace and blessings to you and, and your household and your stead as well. Okay, let me get this here. Music time. It's getting warm. Oh, I got the Okay. It was like kind of overcast a little bit ago. And now it's it like, was, huh? Oh, it's going to be raining, they say tonight. Yeah, tonight's it's supposed to rain? It's raining. Well, with the cast, it's going to come it started getting overcast in here. Now it's like it's going to have a little rain. It's warm outside. Let me look at a little bit of this right here. Worship. No mm -mm. time. Okay, yeah, I'm just still feeling. I'm still feeling the joy of the heavenly vision that that I woke up to uh, this morning. And uh, today we're going to go into, as you see. The title of what I named today's Sabbath service and uh, Bible study, okay, is ordinance of true worship. So I just want to just really uh, get the details or the definition of worship, and then uh, we're going to go into uh, the study. But before that, you know, as always, our praise has to go before us. Our worship has to go before us. And I would like to share with you, not that I follow dreams or anything, but when I get a heavenly vision from the most high uh, specifically and have specific people that are in the particular uh, division and not to mention that the season that we're in right now, the season of worship. And, and by the way, let me say this to you. Today is day seven. The sun is still up. Day seven of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So. I did? Yeah. Oh, I worse shop. Okay, thank you. How can I fix that? I don't even know if I can fix that right now. I don't think I can fix that right now because I'm because I'm live. Thank you. Well, we are, I think we all know what it means, but thank you, bro. I'll definitely I definitely fix that. So those who may come across this later, they'll see that it does say worship and not worse shop. <laughs> so worship. What is worship? Okay. Worship is to my understanding, is giving adoration to the Most High, okay, right? To esteem something. Worship is, and I'll just let me just read it right here clearly out of the Zondervan Illustrated Bible Dictionary before we even play any praise music. Because before I play the praise music, I want to just you know I want to sing the song that the Most High had given to me and just share with you about that heavenly vision that um, the Most High put into my mind. And I'm grateful for it. it. It like really stirred me up today. But it says here, um, worship, page 1533, the honor, reverence, and homage paid, and they say to superior beings or powers, okay? The English word was originally, it says, if I can pronounce this right, we earth, we earth script or, or Roth ship. 
denoting the worthiness of the individual receiving the special honor. Now, this is amazing because what I seen this morning waking up, it was like, brothers and sisters, it, I, I truly believe that I was brought either into the presence of the Most High and worshiping the Most High. And I just seen, I, I seen this bright, this bright area. It was so bright and beautiful. It was just lit. And I heard trumpets and everyone there was singing. And I, I when I when I looked around in the the the, the vision that I seen, I couldn't necessarily make out what every person was, but they all were bright. They had a radiance around about them, if, if that makes sense. And everyone was singing this. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Du -du 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 -du. And like the trumpeters, they were like, that probably like, boo -boo 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 -boo. and then they would go again. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Do, 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 do. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Do, 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 do. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Do, 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 do. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Put it on a Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Put it on a Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Put it on a And the sound was so loud, brothers and sisters. It was so loud and just the, the atmosphere, the energy, it was so beautiful. And I woke up and I said, oh my, I just thought about though. I sat there in the bed like in awe. Wow. And then on top of that, prior to that, it was like a vision that I had where I seen our dearly beloved brother Fred, right? And I was driving by and it's like I drove past him. And I was like, that looked like Brother Fred. And then I, I backed up and I was like, I was like trying to see where he went. And it was like he had went into like an apartment complex and they had like a big table, like the table. I know you all online probably can't see our table here, but it was like a huge table there. And like, I don't know if it was like a menorah. It was like they were setting up. It was like it was a celebration. And so I was like, Brother Fred, and he came out and and our brother just like, we embraced each other like true brotherly love. And then like he grabbed me by the hand and it was like, come on, let's go over here. We, we started talking and we was just, we were chopping it up. Like, you know what I mean? Like we didn't miss a beat. And then like I was telling, I told my Isha and I told you sister Veronica and you, and you Debbie that. Then I, I seen like sister Renee walk by and she was walking up, walking by. And then brother Fred uh, embraced her and was like, you know, they introduced like this is, this is Sister Renee and Brother Fred. And then next thing you know, like it was like one of his daughters there. And then he introduced his daughter. And then we seen, like we were walking back, like we were going to go over to where he was initially. And then we seen my Isha, Michelle. And, and then he embraced her. And it was just like so much love. And then I had, yeah, I had Alex in the car. You know what I'm saying? It was just beautiful. But that song, brothers and sisters, I kid you not, I, I woke up and I, all I remember is those trumpets. So I, I wrote right here on my phone. You can probably see that, right? Praise him. And that's what, praise his holy name. I saw, praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. I mean, it was dope. It was like out of this world. And just in the presence, like, I'm telling you, I wasn't thinking about nothing else, but I just wanted to just, like, what did it say worship meant? Let me read it to you again. Worship. Here we are in the season to worship. Now, today is day, uh, what is today? In the, the, let, me make, let me get my count really quick. I want to say day, is it day 22 at sundown? Let me take a look. One second. Because I believe, yes, yeah, it is day 22 at sundown because Friday at sundown was day 21, okay, which started the seventh day of the day of our joy, 
when we come before the Most High during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, right? And every day we were supposed to bring an oblation. An oblation is an offering to the Most High. We were to offer ourselves up to the Most High. So I can say, I can say emphatically, 20, because at Sunday I'll be 22, day 22. So 21 days ago, I proposed to the Most High that I was going to worship him with my life, with my soul, with all of my strength and my might. I asked my wife, I asked I, you know, my, my younger children, and I asked all of you all who were ear distant, do you propose to worship the Most High with all of your life and all of your soul to the very end? And if you said yes, I said, may the Most High's blessings, according to the abundance of his richness and deep love and, and compassion that he has on you, may he bless and flourish you. And, 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 and always maintain the posterity of Israel. So it is just a wonderful thing to just, I cannot wait to play the praise songs and just, you know, take the time to go into the word and for the revelation for the most high to really bring out of, of the living word so that we can be edified and encouraged. And if some people need admonishment, that those would be admonished and those who need to be exhorted, be exhorted. But the one thing is for certain, we are in the time of the most high supernatural judgment upon this earth. He said that he was going to judge this world for its evil. And in the process of that, brothers and sisters, understand that we brought out last prayer meeting and last Sabbath, the place or the road that was meant for our deliverance and our salvation became the destruction of our enemies wow. to those who had harmed us. So don't don't fear the, the sights that you see and the reports that you hear. Take heed and prepare because faith without works is dead. So it's time, I've said this over, it's time to put it into action for years. Over a decade, I've been in this seat, which I call the hot seat. And being in the hot seat, when you stand and you stand for, for righteousness and virtue, right? That is our integrity. The most high is our righteousness. The things that we learn through the, through the holy manuscript, we apply that to our lives. And because of it, Yasha says, the world will hate you because they hated him. And they did not know the father. So, but you and I, our eyes have been open. The most high is he has called us to his heavenly, his heavenly throne, called us into his presence, the presence of holiness and to worship him in the beauty of holiness, to worship him in spirit and truth. So I pray brothers and sisters that today's Sabbath service and worship really stirs you up. And it's just confirmation and affirmation that the most high desires for you and I to worship him. Don't let anyone, do not let anything distract you from worshiping your heavenly father. Okay. You got to get to a place where you can be still and be quiet to hear his voice. So I pray that the most high, as you seek in the most high, I pray the most high truly imparts you the heavenly vision, the blessings of, you know what I'm saying? The most high, the almighty power upon your life. All right. So let me finish reading about the worship now. So it says, <clears throat> Worship is defined as the honor, reverence, and homage paid to the Almighty. As it said, the English word worship uh, was, was uh, pronounced, <clears throat> excuse me, worth-ship, meaning the worth-ship. So how much is your worship really worth? <laughs> wait a minute. So wait a minute. So if you don't put a great significance or emphasis on worship and who you are worshiping, then you don't really understand the value of what worship has. So the most high won't really bring you into the sanctuary, into his presence to worship if you don't understand that he alone is to be reverenced. He alone is to be honored, right? He alone is to be esteemed. What else does it say? So it says, while the word is used of human beings, it is especially used of the supernatural power and honor paid to the almighty or what they would say, deities, whether, listen to this, of heathen religions. So you'll have the heathen, okay, they'll go and worship, they'll worship their false gods, and they'll worship wood and stone, and worship themselves, you get what I'm saying? And they'll be, they'll be faithful to that worship, they continue to do that, because they understand by their work, listen to this, they understand by their worship, their God is enriching them, so if you worship, if you and I worship our heavenly father 
and your life as you present your life to him and, and worship. Shall not your heavenly father provide your every need? Or if you now check this out, I'm going to go into the scriptures today. If you turn away from the way that he told us to worship, guess what happens? We become an enemy to our God. We become his enemy. So worship is homage. Why? Because then you begin to disrespect the most high. You begin to disrespect the supernatural way or the ordinance, as the title implies, ordinance of true worship. Shalom, Sister Martha Miller. It's a blessing to have your attendance. Pray you have been well and pray you are having a joyous uh, Sabbath today. Shabbat shalom to the Wam. Peace and blessings be upon you. Uh, we're talking about today's uh, uh, Bible study and services. We're going into the ordinance of true worship, supernatural worship. So we haven't yet got into the actual uh, the Bible study portion. First, we're going to sing some praise song, but uh, if you're just now tuning in, the Most High showed me this heavenly vision and giving me this song where I just seen multitude of people and the radiance of just, it was light, it was bright. And I heard the sound of supernatural worship and it the, just the, the, the feeling and the, pre, just to be in the presence of it. And to the one, and everyone that was worshiping was truly worshiping. And it was like to him up there, all I could say, it was like, even though we were in the heavens, it was like, he's higher than the heavens. <laughs> if that makes sense. It was like, he's the most high. And it was like, and, and in my being, I was like, oh, like, you know, when you like really you feel every fiber in your being, just like, it just, my whole body felt good. My whole mind felt good. It was like totally the, the opposite of like, even though during the days of our joy, because we think about like, man, this in this world, we think about the things that we have witnessed and the things that we have seen, like how the enemy tries to attack. You get what I'm saying? And you're like, man, this world right here is totally lost its mind. It, to it totally lost its, its fervency. And you know what fervent means because it says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man or a righteous person availeth much. So they don't have this fervency towards the most high because it also tells us, brothers and sisters, that um, that Yasha says, let me, I don't want to say that it tells us what Yasha told us and not to jump ahead of myself, but in the book of Isaiah 29 and 13, uh, or the most high said it and then Yasha said it in Matthews 5 and verses 8. But in Isaiah 29 and 13, the most high said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. So what are we doing when we come with our mouth? We suppose like we're singing like we worship him. So they're saying they worship me with their mouth, right? That's what it said. They draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, they do honor me. How do we know that? Because it just told us that worship is defined by honor and reverence. So with our mouths, we would say these things to the most high or about the most high. But then in, in the confines of this world, when it comes down to like really worshiping him, because of the pressures and the things that people try to break your worship, try to stop your worship, try to just try to they, how do they how do you do it? They try to they try to uh, 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 how do you say this? Extinguish your fire. Oh. Are you gonna let them? That's the word. Are you gonna let them? I'm not gonna let them. I'm not gonna let them extinguish my fire. So I come I come today before the Most High Throne of Grace to really stir it up and just say I thank the Most High because unbeknownst to you, like your brothers, this is the, I mean, some things that have, uh, the things that have transpired and I'm, I'm watching these things, but the most high show me these things before they even happen. Like, like, you know, it, when you have a spiritual discernment, you are discerning things like, okay, if people are of the world, the world's going to love the world. The, the world's going to love its own. Right. If people are of the father, they're going to love the father and the things of the father. So I'm telling the children of the Most High, the children of light, these are the things of the Father to be worshiping him in this season. you got to worship him like you never worshiped him before. If you have, if you've just been worshiping him with your lips and you don't know what it's like, if you want healing in your body, if you want healing in your marriage, if you want healing with your, from your children, if you want deliverance from the, the, the enemies always oppressing you, it's time to worship him. It's time to really listen. It's time to pay homage and honor to him. The Bible tells in Joel 2 and 12 and 13, it says, rend your heart and not your garments. Yeah. So in other words, you know, it's not just enough to say that I'm going to fast or whatever the case is, because this is what, what they did. But no, you really got to be sorry for the things that went against the most highest ordinance of worship. 
And that order of worship is, I'm going to tell you, if you never heard it, it is a constitution. It gives you the legal right to be heirs to the throne with Yeshua HaMashiach, to be able to call down to your heavenly father. When you cry, like you, me and you were just talking, Sister Veronica, when we ask the Most High, the Most High sees you get into that place of worship. He see you being faithful. He's seeing you laboring to keep your peace, and yet the devil trying to steal your joy. Yet people coming around trying to suck up all your energy. Trying to, the, the devil will send his agents. I'm telling you. So I, I know I may be on, but I'm on a spiritual, I'm on a spiritual high that nobody can, woo, can't nobody bring me down. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna praise the most high. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise you, higher. Because he is worthy of the praise. If you can only feel the energy that is being stirred up here in this assembly, dear family. There is healing in the presence of the Most High. There is no want, meaning that, like, you know, the, as the scripture says, the Most High is my shepherd, I shall not want. Meaning that you're not going to lack anything. You're not going to lack wisdom. You're not going to lack peace. You're not going to lack health. You're not going to lack understanding. He's going to give it to you. Everything You're going to see things for what they are. Are you ready to see it? You can only see it through worship. Come on. That's the only way that you can see it. Praise so God. reading on. So we understand that worship is defined in honor and reverencing, and it should only be to the most high. Now, there's worship, meaning that praise is given to, you know, those who are worthy of the praise and adoration. But ultimate praise and worship of our lives has to be uh, uh, towards the almighty power. Now, when given to the Most High, worship involves, listen to this, acknowledgement of supernatural perfections. So we have, that's right, we have at times imperfections in our worship because we're not fully focused on worshiping him, <laughs> right? And it says here, it may express itself in the form of direct address, right? As in adoration or thanksgiving or in service to the Most High, it may be private or it may be public involving, they say, involving uh, occults, right? Worship presupposes that the Most High is, that he can be known and that his perfections set him far above mankind. The Bible attests to worship from the beginning in the patriarchal times, the patriarchal times, there was both what the privacy of prayer, Genesis chapter 18, and the public act of setting up an altar, Genesis 12 and verses 7. From the patriarchs onward, we can divide the Bible into four periods. First, while Masha or Moses established the basis of the public worship of Israel. And I'm going to go into the record about what Masha told us. If you want, he said, oh, Israelites, there's only one source of true happiness. One source. The favor of the Most High. So, and he gave gave it its focal point in the tabernacle. Now, where's the tabernacle now? We are the tabernacle. Your body is the temple of the Most High. So you are supposed to worship the Most High with your body. That's why That's why you hear your dear, uh, like, you know, bringing it out, talking about how we, the things we're not to be adorning our bodies and stuff. We're supposed to, you're supposed to possess your body in holiness. That's why you hear your op talking about we're not supposed to write on ourselves, not supposed to put holes and things in our bodies. We're not supposed to do these things. Okay. 
because this is the divine worship. The world will tell you it's okay. And matter of fact, you have people who say they're worshiping the most high because they're worshiping the most high with their mouths, but yet their hearts are far from him. Told us that in Isaiah 29. Reading on. So it says here, uh, breaking that that this uh, that the, uh, the 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 four parts of worship were the Bible, or where we can divide the Bible into four periods. First, while Moses established the basis of public worship Israel uh, of Israel and gave it a focal point in the tabernacle, we know they say they know a little bit about the actual performance of the worship. Samuel, and we're going into Samuel. So this afternoon, I'm going to be talking about two of the Most High's holy prophets and reading. The, the word of the Most High from the prophet's mouths. We can believe it and receive it, or you can disbelieve it. The choice is yours. But me, I choose to believe what the Most High said because I feel the effects of worship, okay? I see the effects of worship, me worshiping the Most High, the Most High providing for my needs, giving me the desire, giving me the songs, okay? Let's see if there's anything else that I can bring out about it. Oh man. Yeah. This, this, the thing with worship goes, it, it goes deep. So now let's go ahead and let me go ahead and uh, segue over to now to the time of praise. Let's get some praise songs going on. And, uh, oh, she's not making it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm glad, Sister uh, Martha, that you that you made it here. So we're going to stand in agreement with you and be lifting up uh, your father, Sammy, uh, in prayer as well. So that way, because we know that the strength of prayers. Now, I want to say this, too, in the time that we're in, brothers and sisters, is that the scripture told us without Baruch, one of the most highest holy prophets, without the prayers of our ancestors, Hear me clearly now. Without the prayers of our ancestors, the one who who cleaved to the Most High, who had favor, true happiness. It's only one source of true happiness, the favor of the Most High. They prayed for us, the ones who listened to him and it was obedient to him. The Most High says that he would always, he would always uh, uh, be for our turn when we turn to him. But he foretold the things that were happening, the things that we're seeing. He foretold these things that we're living through. And he says, in that time, we will, we will see uh, the things that the Most High had, had pronounced before they happened so that we can turn back to him. So it is the prayers of the righteous, meaning those, and no one's righteous. Let me just make this clear. No one's righteous on their own stance, okay? Like your own, like we all have a, a set of our own virtue. The virtue is that, <laughs> that supernatural ordinance of worship. If you do this, this is what the Bible says righteousness is. OK, that's what writes is outlined in the word. So with that, our prayers, the, you know, the prayers of the elders and with your prayers of your family and us standing in the gap to the most high. And then also the acknowledgement of the believer or the individual, too. They have to believe and they're praying. So we're praying along with you, uh, Sister Martha, praying and prayfully praying along with um, your your father. Uh, Sam, you, said, you said Sammy, right? Yeah, well, I said I just say Sammy, but Sammy, pray, praying for your father, and the prayers are going to go up. Absolutely, we're going to touch an agreement for the Most High's healing hand and favor uh, for you, Sister Martha, and uh, your family. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit the uh, worship playlist, play a couple of songs, and then we're going to get right into it. And what I'm what I'm hearing right now, I just like. Uh, I want to play. I want to play. You ain't never had a friend like your Shia. One second, while I get to it, we praise him. As we praise him, we know that the Most High's favor. He is in control. The Most High is in control. Where's it at here? Why am I not seeing it? You ain't never had a friend like your Shia. Maybe it's up here. One second. Uh, we need you today, Father. Anyone wants to come on and 
and you know, and bless us with their presence and you know what I'm saying, have a word as well. We we could do that as well. Just let me know. Oh, here we go. Never had a friend. Let's go ahead and praise. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go with these two songs. I want to go uh nobody and then never had a friend like uh like you shy. Let's see how this goes here. See how this sounds here. Bless your holy name, most high. Nobody like you, Father. You've given us your best. You have provided a sacrifice, the son of your love. And I pray that we are found in him, most high. Shed his blood just to save us. Gave us eternal life. You are great, most high. Nobody, nobody, 
nobody stuff. Mm. We love your stuff. Just... One second, dear family. We're going to keep it going. Glory to the Most High. Bless his holy name. Yes. I mean, I feel like we owe Yeshaya the utmost respect. I mean, at one point, he asked the father to take that cup from him because he really didn't want to die for us oh. like that. He came down he and took on the face. Yes, he did. And he died for you and me. And he really didn't want to do it. He really didn't want to do it. Because a lot of people didn't really believe. They didn't believe. That he was the son of the heavenly father. And they still don't believe. They still don't believe today. But he still died for them souls anyway. That's a real friend that would hang down. It's life for you, a real friend, so you can gain eternal life through him. Oh, he's the true life. That's a real friend who will lay down. It's life for you. That's great teaching. Great teaching right there. I say that's great teaching. Hey, you ain't never, you ain't never had a friend like you shy. Had a friend like you shy. You shy. You ain't got to you. You ain't never. No. You ain't never had a friend like you shine. Had a friend like you shine. You shine. He ain't got to you. You ain't never. Yeah. You ain't never had a friend like you shine. Had a friend. You shine. Like you shine. He died to you. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't never had a friend like a child. You ain't never oh, had a friend like a child. He died for you. And he would have been a better place yes. for us. us after we leave this place. After we leave this wicked place. Oh, yes, he did. Bring heaven manifest. He's gonna see us for us. Yes. Thank you, Yashua. With the Father. That we may be saved, that we may be saved. Oh, oh, oh. He only came for the house of Israel. Israel. Our yeah. We are the lost sheep. We are the lost sheep. And he's our shepherd. That's a real friend that will lay down. It's fine for you. That's a real friend. So you can gain eternal life. You ain't never, and you never will. Never will. Oh no. Oh, have, have a friend, friend like you shine. Oh no. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Yes. He died for us so that you can gain eternal life, that I can gain eternal life through him. What a blessing. What a blessing, family. Second here. Mm -mm -mm. That was powerful. You ain't never, you ain't never had a friend like Yeshia. We are his sheep. 
and he is our shepherd. Mm. Glory to the Most High. Take a look here. Okay, this time, when we bend the knees of our hearts, ask the Most High, our Heavenly Father, to stir up the gift of his Holy Spirit. He sees, he hears, he looks far and near. The scripture tells us in 2 Chronicles 16 and 9 that the eyes of the Most High go to and fro through the whole earth to search for those that earnestly seek him to show himself mighty to save. Father, we thank you, Most High for the very breath of life. As our lungs contract and expand and we breathe in oxygen here in this realm, in this dimension, our spirits, our souls desire to go into deep thought, to go into your very presence most high. You are all in all. <coughs> and I know for a certainty, Most High, that no good deed goes unnoticed or repaid by you in the like manner. No wicked invention or act of violence against the innocents most high or the innocent will go unpunished and judged by you. So today, Father, as recipients of your amazing grace, bearing one another's burdens most high, for we know that you know every one of our needs before we even ask of you. We know that most high, that it is your hand at work bringing all of these things to pass, the things that were foreordained before the foundation of the world. And in your presence is health, is security, it is strength, there is peace, there is wisdom, there is love, there is knowledge, and there's understanding most high. And in your presence most high, no sickness, no illness, no disease, no mechanism, nothing ever conjured up or made could stop or hinder us, Heavenly Father. So I desire to go deeper into the spirit most high, to ask that, Father, that you would have respect unto our prayers today, most high. It was well needed for us to be afflicted, most high, as you have said, because we had forsook the cisterns of eternal living water and forsooken our God to follow after the ways of the heathen of the Gentile nations who domineered over us, who you said that would be snares as thorns in the side of our flesh so that we would turn back to thee so that most high, that we would not be lifted up, that we would not be puffed up because your word declares that you, that you deny and resist the proud, but you give grace to the humble. So we needed that so that we might be humbled, most high. You did not put a silver spoon in our mouths. You did not ordain in, 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 in the living uh, word of life our deliverance to be delivered by military might, to be delivered by riches and wealth, to be delivered by fame, by, to be delivered by politicians, to be delivered by false prophets and false hopes. But by you alone was our deliverance to come and we would worship you. And yet your people, most high, Still in this, this plane that we live in called earth, as surely as we breathe it in the breath, most high. Still people do not believe, like Brother Fred was saying. Yasha died for them, and they did not believe, but he did it for those lost souls anyway, that they would have an opportunity to confess their faults and their sins to you and get right. So that most high, 
that they can gain eternal life through him. So today in specific, why it's fresh on my mind, I don't know what whatever the causes that led to uh, our, our brother Sammy or our sister Martha Miller's father yes. coming under uh, uh, the ailment that he's under. And I don't know all of the details yeah. that surround this situation, yeah. but I know that you are all knowing most high. Yeah. I know that you are loving and that you are kind most high. Yeah. I know you to be a healer most high. Yeah. I know you to be a provider most high. I know you most high to be an ever present help most high. I don't know how serious it may be most high. I know you to be the life giver most high. I know you to be the one that you have ordained our footsteps most high. You have told us to walk in holiness and to walk upright most high and everything that we ask of you according to your will and your word and your purpose will be granted unto us most high. Remember the little flock. Yash is on your right hand side yet in a seating for Sammy right now. There's yet other souls just like Sammy that need your divine intervention most high for you to step right in right now most high. So we stand in the gap most high. Let those who be strong in the faith stand in the gap and strengthen for those who might be weak in the faith. But when we are weak we are strong the same way that you told the apostle Paul that your grace is sufficient. So most high your grace you supersede anything that I can even ask or even think of most high. So I ask you most high to plead Martha's call to please the call for Sammy most high. I'm not proficient enough most high. I live in this flesh most high and it's filthy at times most high and it provokes me most high and I want to get even at times most high and I want to act out at times most high but still most high I hold myself most high accountable unto you most high because you told us if one curse you, you bless those that curse you, Most High. You said it, Most High, that we are to be a beacon of light, Most High, an inside in the end times, Most High, to lift up a standard, Most High, that your people might see it. Those who sit in darkness might see the wonderful, glorious light of the gospel of Yeshua, and that Most High, that they would be determined to surrender their lives to you, surrender their souls to you, Most High. Stop with the vanity. Stop with the iniquity and run to you, Most High. While there is yet time, you are able to do more than exceedingly abundantly, more than we expect or even imagine. So we thank you, Father. We thank you for our little children, Most High. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the hardships and the struggles of life. Most High, your chastening is so good, Most High. Forgive us if we murmur or complain. Forgive us if we put limitations on the blessings that you can do, Most High, because you are able to do more, Most High. You are able to do it when you see fit, Most High. So, Most High, if you say to wait, I don't mind waiting, Most High. But in the waiting, Most High, strengthen us, Most High. In the waiting, Most High, quicken us in our spirit, Most High. In the waiting, Most High, be our joy, Most High. In the waiting, Most High, be our song, most high. In the waiting, most high. Be our dance, most high. That we might glorify you, most high. Be the very breath that we breathe, most high. To our minds, most high. Or submit it to your will, most high. Till we have the mind of your shire, most high. When we say to the web to the enemy, no weapon formed against us will ever prosper. That I don't, that don't, that don't, it doesn't matter if it's physical, if it's a foreign or domestic. It doesn't matter if it's in the spiritual. Yes. Nothing that they can say or do yes. can hinder or hold back your hands. Hallelujah. When you have ordained and commanded for our salvation. Yes. So I pray that, Father, that you give charge to your yes. holy angels. Yes. The angels with health, most high. At the sound and the prompt of our voice, most high. At the sound and the prompt of our cry, most high. With our whole being have we searched thee, most high. Give us strength in our knees, most high. If there's hurting in our, our shoulders and our elbows, give us strength, most high. If our side our legs are hurting, give us strength, most high. If we get tired, most high, breathe fresh wind. Breathe in the valley, most high. For we need you, most high, like never before. When the opposing forces have us surrounded, most high. When they try, they try to barricade, most high, and stop, most high, the rock from coming in, most high. Break down the doors, most high. And may the anointing of your Holy Spirit rest upon thy people, most high. May we speak, Heavenly Father, the prophetical visions, most high, that you have ordained us to do, most high, for such a time and a season as this right here, most high. 
Most High, we ask of your supernatural wisdom, Most High. We ask for your comfort, Most High. We ask that, Most High, that you teach us how to be skilled at mourning, Most High. That we say, Father, forgive us the same way that the children of Israel, when you, when you renewed the covenant, even while Moses was up on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights, the children, the children, they did folly. And what did Moses do? Hey, he was grieved. He fell before his face. And he said, Father, they are thine, Most High. Forgive them, Most High, of their sins, Most High. He, and the Most High, was his anger waxed so hot, the Most High said, I will destroy them. And he said, Moses said to the Most High, Most High, take me out of, out of your book of life before you take them. And, and, and because of his humility, because of his compassion, because of his fervency before the Most High, sitting right there in his presence, worshiping the Most High yeah. with his face to the ground. Yeah. The Most High says he would spare them for that time, but he will visit them in their generation. And those that sin against the Most High, yeah. they shall die. But those who repent, they shall have life. Yeah. That is what the Most High says. Hallelujah. So today, Father, we put down our sin. Sin shall have no dominion over you. Amen. Sin shall have no dominion over your yes. vessel, yes. over your members. We commit and submit to the way of holiness, Most High. The oracles that were spoken from old, Most High. Where did he get this power from? Just like Brother Polo uh, Cole was saying, we got it from our Father. We bless you, Most High. We thank you, Father. Praise is a weapon as we worship you. Just like Jehoshaphat and the children of Judah. They kneeled before you, Most High, when Edom and Moab was marching with, with, with swords in their hand. Just like the Egyptians marching 600,000 footmen. 50,000 uh, uh, chariots with swords and shields and bucklers trying to take back the try to take back the children of promise to try to place them under custody into slavery when you said that they were to be free to do what yes. to come to worship before you yes, father i just want to worship you most high free Hallelujah. of any outside influences yes, most yes, high yes, yes. most high restore the yes. years of old most high that the canker worm has eaten up most high give back to us most high your tender mercies most high your favor and your kindness most high your protection most high most high your loving your loving kindness most high that surpasses all understanding most high just to dwell in the secret abode of you and your pavilion. Father, your truth shall be our shield and our buckler, most high. Your truth, most high, is the word that we heal ourselves with. So I speak right now. If I was there where Sammy was, I would touch Sammy on the top of his head with the anointing oil. And I say, by the power instilled in me through the most high's Holy Spirit, let sickness flee from Brother Sammy. In the name of your Shia. We rebuke you, Satan. You have no place in our minds, no place in our body. You cannot remain. Be uprooted and moved in the name of Yeshua. And may heal, may health and healing and restoration and regeneration and rejuvenation may it be instilled and imputed upon you. May you turn to the Most High. Even I don't know what the circumstances or what his condition that he's in right now. But I pray right now that Brother Sammy, right now, we seen it. We heard the, I heard the report this week during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. While I was yet praying for a young brother, I, I visited him on the side of his hospital bed. And the Most High lifted him up. The, the, the doctors gave a negative report so that he would not live. But the Most High saw fit to raise this young man up. And that he is now walking in the truth and keeping the Most High's holy law. Glory to a higher. No one can stop the Most High. No one can tell me that this is not real. But we know the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. And so today, Father, we ask that you would bless us in this Bible study. Oh, I pray that you would prepare the hearts and minds of the body of believers, Most High. Search each and every one of our beings, Most High. Remove from us anything that is not like you, Most High. Give us a longing and a desire for your word, Most High, that we may be close to thee, Most High. Do not cast us off. Do not be wroth with us forever, Most High, but confirm your sovereign word in your sons and daughters' lives who look unto you. Who do we have in the heavens except thee? 
Who do we have in this earth, Most High? We don't have no one sitting at the tables of the United Nations and NATO and all these governments. You, Most High, do we have, Most High? Remember the blood that cries out out of the soil, Most High, for the injustices that were done upon the righteous, Most High, thousands of years, Most High. And now is the time of your visitation, Most High, when all the earth, all men will have their hands on the side of their loins like a woman in travail. Bring forth your holy nation, Most High. Bring forth your holiness and your righteousness, Most High. Do not allow flesh to prevail over the workmanship of your hands. Do not allow the devil to cut off the lives of the, those who have surrendered unto thee, Most High. But lift ye up a standard, Most High, when the flood of lies that the enemy spills out of his mouth. Today, it might be one of my brothers and sisters being attacked, the yeah. devil lying in their ears. Yeah. But today, Most High, we, Most High, who can see, stand in the gap for them, Most High, yeah. lifting them up. For if one of the members of the body suffer, the whole body suffer. If one of the members of, of the body be exalted, the whole body is exalted. Yeah. So today, in the name of Yeshua, as we bring every member of the body of Christ from the very least to the greatest before your throne of grace, most high, asking that you would hedge us about, most high, with thy holy angels that excel in strength, most high. Send them, most high, on their divine supernatural purpose, most high. But when you send them on their assignment, most high, they do not deter, they do not detest, but they execute your commands with precision, most high. And most high, may it come speedily upon the pate of the wicked when they least expect it. May they fall in their own snares, their own traps, Most High. The, 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 the spells and hexes and the curses that they have pronounced on your people, may they fail, make it a blessing, and make them be confounded and confused. But let your sons and daughters, that's right, sing your praise, Most High. May we bless you. May we march into Zion, Most High. You say, who is this that flies on the wings uh, coming like the chariots? It's, it's your sons and daughters, the strangers bringing your sons and daughters as an offering. Who is this that comes on the ships of Tarshish? You can save us, Most High, in your deepest and darkest moment, brothers and sisters. Wherever you are, fall on your hands and knees and surrender. I said surrender to the Most High. Don't hold out, not another day. Surrender to the Most High. Give him your all, and the Most High will show himself mighty to save you. You will be singing the praises. You will be singing. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him, praise his holy name, praise him, praise him, praise his holy name, praise him, praise his holy name, praise him, we glorify you most high, you are so worthy of the praise, worthy of the honor, worthy of the glory. And we thank you for this time. We thank you in advance, Most High, for healing. Our petitions are answered, Most High. That's right. There, yes, in your shot. Yes. Woo! Bless your name, Most High. Yes. Feel this. Glorify you, Most High. We praise you, Most High. Yes, Most High. Show your glorious light. And your might, Most High, you are still making ways for us, Most High. You opened the sea and your children walked on shot ground. You told Heavenly Father, you said, you you you, you commanded, as you say in, in, in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, that you would arm all of creation and you would take up holiness as an invincible shield. And you said, those who mind holy things, they themselves will become holy. There is a pathway, yeah, yeah. A, a, a highway being prepared right now in the desert. Hallelujah. That's the wilderness. Yes. And only the holy, this, the holy will walk on it. Woo. We thank you, Father, for your Hallelujah. awesome might. Thank you, Father, thank for this you. day to appear in the Sabbath, for the voices 
and the sound of joy in the days yes. of our rejoicing. Yes. You said that most high, this was a covenant and an and, and everlasting covenant throughout all generations that these are the feasts of the covenant that your children should keep. And as we keep these things, you said that you would put none of the plagues or diseases of Egypt upon us, but you would put it upon them that hate us most high. And how do we know when someone hates us? Because they despise us most high. And they, dis they don't dis despise us because of us, but because who we are in Yeshua, yes. who we are to you most high. Yes. It was only be to be a peculiar people meant that we were to do what? Esteem you, Father. The things that you have that, that were important to you should be important to us. Yes. And so, Father, we thank you for the little ones born in the truth. We thank you for pleading the cause for there truly is a power yes. who judges the earth with righteousness and equity. Yes. I believe that today. Amen. And I thank you, Most High, for your healing hand. I thank you, Most High, for always maintaining our cause. The yes. same thing that you told to all the way from Adam, all the way to Seth, all the way to Enos, all the way to Jared, all the way to uh, uh, Enoch, to uh, Mahala, all the way to uh, Lamech, all the way to Noah, all the way to Shem. Hallelujah. You told it to him, Most High. Yes, yes, and so, Father, yes. today we are they who Hallelujah. keep thy commandments. Do not allow any of our lives to be cut off out of the land of the living prematurely. We know that you are able to make the way, Father. You took us uh, through a wilderness, a, a, a parched land, and you said that, Most High, you were able to make water come out of the rock, Most High. So sometimes in this wretched world that some of the spirituality of worship gets drained from your sons and daughters. And they we truly desire to worship you, the most high, all the ruckus and all the clamoring of the world, most high, and the cares and the worry. We just want to leave that behind, most high, and to go into deep thought and, and to be in your presence, most high, where that's truly where insight and revelation, you know, the tabernacle, which we said that we are the tabernacle, is called the meeting booth or the booth of revelation. So in the secret place of the most high, shall we be safe? Hide us from the scourges of the enemy most high, from their forces and everything that they have uh, employed or uh, tried to uh, devise most high, that they have tried to use their, their science and their witchcraft most high and their necromancing against us most high. Make it fail, Father. Your word says in Numbers 23 and 23 that there is no enchantment or divination against Israel. I believe it most high. You said that that, that you did not give us a spirit of, of being timid, but a spirit of love and of power. And so with that spirit, this is what we exemplify when we walk, when we talk, when we stand in boldness not being deterred, will not be moved, most high, because you are our stay. You are our ever-present help. And on your word do we lean. We lean not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways. We acknowledge thee, praying that you would direct our paths yes. into the everlasting kingdom of the dearly beloved son of your love. Now, having seen your glorious might and looking forward to seeing even more revelation, I pray that you go before each of us, Most High, throughout all the assemblies of the four corners of the earth, all the places where your children have been scattered. And I ask that you would prepare the hearts and minds of the body of believers, that they might be witnesses, your witnesses, according to Isaiah 43 and 10. Excuse me, Isaiah 43 and 10. You say, ye are my witnesses. And witnesses, they testify. They testify of the Most High's goodness, and they testify of his grace and his mercy, but they testify of his wrath and his judgment to come. And so, Father, as our word, your word be in our mouth, let our yeas be yea and our nays be nays. I say yes to you, Father. Yes to worship you today. Yes to give any burden or anything that I, any, anything that I may have been carrying, I give it to you because I cannot rely upon my own strength. Because this flesh, this garment that we wear and call flesh, it will wax old, but your word endureth forever. And so we bless you, Most High, for your awesome power, for your infinite wisdom, Most High, for your perfect understanding of all things. We thank you for the holy angels. Thank you for the holy prophets and the holy apostles. Thank you for the way of holiness. Thank you for the dearly beloved Holy Son of your love, Yeshua HaMashiach. And we bless you. And we thank you and we decree and declare in the name of Yeshua that we are of sound mind, that we are content and that we are courageous and that no weapon formed against us, whether in the spiritual or the natural, this world or the world to come, whether foreign or domestic, it simply cannot and will not ever prosper. 
but must cease and desist immediately at the name of Yeshua. And all of the Father's children say, Amen. Amen. So be it. Glory to Yahweh. Yes. Praise him. He is worthy. I tell you, dear family. Wow. Glory to a higher. Oh, I feel virtue. It's come out of my soul. I really do. I don't know how I was able to stand. Whoa. Praise ye a higher. All right, dear family. This is the time where we're going to go ahead and segue. Give us a few seconds. Maybe I'll play one more song before I, as I get myself ready, another, another song. And I will play one more song. <clears throat> And then we're going to go into the study, okay? Blow the trumpet. Blow the trumpet, Zion. Yeah, yeah. Said I was young on my journey. I was so lonely. When I found the Father, He pulled me because I was hungry. Said He fed me the truth through His word. I'll never be hungry again. He taught me eternal thinking. About the kingdom, he became my best friend. I see myself a superior role. Said he's the best, yeah. the best, the best, the best. Relationship, the best relationship I ever had. Yeah. With my father, with my father in heaven. That's right. Nothing like it. The best, the best, the best. Relationship, relationship, I ever relationship I ever yeah, yeah, yeah. With my father, he showed me that I was the son of the light. We talk in silence. We talk in silence. Said I searched for him till I found him, even if it took my whole life. Say he's invisible, but I feel it. He's all around me. Said he's so amazing. His joke is easy. And he might find so much peace. Said he's a big yeah. the best, the best relationship I ever had. Yeah. With my father. It's with my father. Said he's a big
Because you're the best. The best. Say it's all right. The best, the best, the best relationship I ever had, had with my father. Send you the best. Stop this shit. Blow the trumpet. If you will, turn your Bibles to the book of John 4, 23 and verses 24. Children, I'm going to have you guys come and sit in here. Not too loud, okay? Not too loud, please. Yeah. <clears throat> I like to make this interactive. So here is my, <clears throat> my invite to you all. If you would like to uh, read passages of scriptures with us during uh, the, the scriptures I'm going to call out, if you would like to, to read the passages of scriptures with us and be present, uh, let me know that you would like to read and read the scriptures with us. Okay. And you all here, do, do you all want to read as well? Yeah. So we have a uh, congregation participation is always welcome. Okay, and then I can send the link to you. And uh, <clears throat> it's just beautiful just to hear your voice because, you know, before I, before I read St. John 4, I know that those of us who may have been in the prayer meeting uh, Monday, you know, as we discussed that on these particular days, the, the ordinances of the Passover or Feast of Unleavened Bread were, it was commanded that we are to bring an oblation, uh, you know what I mean, an offering to the Most High every day of the days of our rejoicing. So I wanted to read that really quick. I'm sending, I've seen Brother Babakuya said, yes, send an invite to him, so I will send it to you. Anyone else that would like to, if I have your contact information, um, I could send it to you. Okay, but those of us here that would like to read, they can read. And anyone else who is joining us, you may be watching live, and who would like to read, uh, please. Yeah, I need you to tell them to be quiet because you, you guys are being disruptive now. Okay. So I'm sending it to you right now, brother. Brother Barbecue. If you're looking for me, Michelle, if I miss it, if you don't mind, if I miss anyone that says anything, I know it's like maybe a 30, so a little bit of latency, like maybe a 30 second delay. So but I did see Brother Bob. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. I was gonna send that now. Coming your way. So we'll wait till you while you guys get the once you guys get the oh I'm put once you guys get the invite, then we'll start with it. But I wanted to read the ordinances of the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the importance of it, the importance of us doing it for the seven days and having, you know, some uh, some bread. 
un, some unleavened bread. Okay, and we're supposed to keep the feast of le, uh, feast of uh, the feast of unleavened bread with what? With the bread of sincerity, of truth and love, yeah. not not with wickedness and not with malice and deceit. You know what I mean? Because that that those types of offering that's a that's a, a tarnished sacrifice. All right, send it right now. Okay, I sent it to, just now sent it to you, Brother Babuki, and now I'm going to Sister Kimmy. Anyone else that you all see on there that may have said anything? You know, after, after witnessing and being present in a stirring like this during the Sabbath, it reminds me of the, this, just the power, like this, the energy that went through. It's like literally like being at that, singing, like singing before the Most High. But even being there was like even probably a thousand times more because just being in the presence of the Most High, literally, it was just, and it also reminds me of like how the children of Israel during the times of great expeditions where they had to rely upon the Most High, literally. And it's easy for us in this world, in our time and age, to say, it's, it's easy for us not to rely upon the Most High because it, it trains us to like depend upon yourself, depend upon your savings, depend on, depend on man, depend on the bank, depend on master, right? And so the Most High is toppling the whole, the whole system so that way his children can depend upon him. So, but it just makes me think of like, it's time monumental worships and breakthroughs like what we had here today that we need that to go before us because these are the hedges of protection, I believe. Prayer uh, warriors and prophetic word as being sent out before us. Like the priest always went before the army. The singers always went before the army. What were they doing? You got it, worshiping the most high. That's what. That's how they used to go to war. <laughs> So, but a lot of, of times we don't think about these things like, you know, so, okay. I wanted to just, okay, coming your way now, <clears throat> hearing by hearing by faith. Okay, so I'll wait till I, I see you, Brother Babakia. Shala, Shalom, dear family, can you hear me? Shalom, family, yeah, I can hear you, brother. Okay, happy and blessed Sabbath, last day of the, the Feast right. of Unleavened Bread. Blessed Sabbath, happy Feast of Unleavened Bread. Shalom. Yeah, yeah Shalom. Okay, and then we'll just wait for uh, Sister Kimmy. Now, while we're waiting for her, I, everyone is on uh, St. John 4, right? You all there? Okay, so I wanted to just read this really quick, and I'll go straight to it just to save some time. It tells us here, brothers and sisters, I'm reading from the book of Jubilees. Let me take a look at the, keep this on the screen. So if I see Sister Kimmy come in. And it talks about um, verses, here it is, verses 22. And, no, but before I do that, let me go up to verses, verses 15. It says, and do thou command the children, I meant, Jubilees, the book of Jubilees, but you don't have to go there. I'm just telling you what I'm reading. Uh, and then uh, chapter 49, verses 15, down to, uh, what was it at? Just, just 15. That's all I want to do is read 15. It says here, And do thou command the children of Israel to observe the Passover throughout their days every year, once a year on the day of its fixed time. And it shall come for a memorial well-pleasing before the Most High. So when we keep the Passover, this comes as a memorial uh, that is well-pleasing before the Most High. Like those songs, the songs that we played here today were really prophetic, like uh, playing the song by Brother Polo Cole, Nobody who can let me live like my Savior. And then the song by Brother uh, Fred, or Psalms, I should say, and he says, uh, you ain't never had a friend like Yasha. You know what I mean? So 
And then not only that, after that, we played uh, the best relationship I've ever had. So it's really prophetical. And the point being that at this particular time, during the Feast of uh, Unleavened Bread, which is also the Passover. So we had to remember what was done. But it says, to it shall come uh, for a memorial well-pleasing before the Most High. And let's, now, now listen to this. And no plague. Plague is disorder. Plagues are disease. Plagues are calamities. Okay? That means in a bad sense. So by us keeping these the covenant and the ordinances in this way, the Most High says no plague will come upon us. You will have a soundness of mind. You'll be fit. You know what I'm saying? Because you're keeping, you're worshiping the Most High. You're honoring Him. Like when we went into what does worship mean? Honor, reverence, homage, right? To the, to the Almighty. So it says, and no plague shall come upon them to slay or to smite. In that year in which they celebrate the Passover in its season in every respect according to his command. Now, I want to just jump down to verses 22 now. Now, listen, it says crystal clear. And do thou, Masha or Moses, command the children of Israel to observe the ordinances of the Passover as it was commanded unto you. Declare thou unto them every year in the day of its days days, plural, and the festival of unleavened bread, uh, yes. that they should eat unleavened bread seven days, and that they should observe its festival, and they, right, and they bring an oblation. Yes. So that oblation is your offering. It is you offering yourself up, worshiping the Most High, meaning that make sure that you keep the peace Make sure you keep your happiness. These are the days of your joy. Look, listen to what it says. It says that they should observe this festival and bring an oblation, okay, every day during those seven days of joy. Verse 23, before the Most High on the altar of your power. For ye celebrated this festival with haste when ye went forth from Egypt till ye entered into the wilderness of Shur. For on the shores of the sea ye completed it. Glory to the Most High. Amen. Peace and blessings. Uh, I believe we have Sister Kimmy with us. Are you with us, sis? If you are, we cannot hear you. Maybe you have to unmute your, your mic just for a second. Okay, here we go. Well, now, we're all online right now. I want to read the first two. It looks like it's just two of us here now. Let's do this. Add. Uh, are you there, Sister Kimmy? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Crystal clear. Shabbat okay. Shalom, family. Peace and blessings. During the uh, seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. A lot of blessings. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom, sis. All right. Well, okay, everyone, if we will, if we can turn to uh, St. John 4. And it's only two verses there, so I will read that. And then after St. John 4. The next the next passage of scriptures that we want to have in the queue. And let me see. So we have you two. All of us reading here. Who's all reading here? Okay. Are you reading, Jerry? No. Okay. One, two, three. So four. Four people. So four, six. So we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you all will read. After I read these first two. We'll take time and we'll start with uh, my Isha and she'll read Isaiah 29. We're going to go from verses 11. If anyone wants to write these precepts down, you could. Verses 11 all the way through 16. Okay. Now let's start off at St. John 4 and uh, verses 23 and 24. I'll read that. We all there? Yes. Yes. Okay, it says here, but the hour cometh 
Matter of fact, let me go up to verse 22. Or 21, it says, Yahshua saith unto her, this is the Samaritan woman, woman, believe me, the hour cometh, we have to all stop talking, the hour cometh when ye should neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Verse 22, ye worship, ye not, ye know not what ye know what we worship. So ye worship ye not, ye, excuse me, I'm saying it again, 22, Salakia. Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation, deliverance is of the Jews. That means salvation comes through Judah. Literally. The Most High, if you have not heard this, I know this could be offended, offensive to some people. The Most High says he's putting an end to all the nations. Uh, Every nation that domineered over God's people, they ruled and they destroyed the earth. So the Most High is putting that to an end. Israel will be saved with an everlasting salvation. So the nations that the people of the nations that will be saved will be saved through the bruise, but because Yeshia is also a brew, and to to the Israelites, then to the other nations. Reading on. So it says here, 23, but the hour cometh, the same hour that we read in Revelations 3, I believe, where it says that Yahshua said, since you kept the faith, I will keep you in that hour. So the hour of temptation where things, temptation can be for the good or the bad, or it can seem like it's good, but it's really bad. Something can tempt you from going out of the way of enduring and for us thinking that, well, this will help out our situation. We take a bribe. Remember that temptation, it'll always be the temptation to sin in this world. But the Bible says, woe to whom uh, the person that the sin comes through or that temptation comes through. Because it said it would be better uh, if, 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 if we cause a little one to fall and stumble. Let's say someone that's, that hasn't submitted and surrendered to the Most High. And they cause a little child of the Most High to fall from following the Most High. The Most High is going to deal with that person. Right? So it says here. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers, the what? The true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Verse 24, the most high, Ahia, is a spirit, and they that worship him must, get that now, I need us to hear this, must worship him in spirit and Truth. Now, what is truth? Truth is when you look at, I always quote this, y'all. I want us to remember this Psalms 119 and 142. Thy law is the truth. So when we were just reading from that, and by the way, the book of Jubilees is what the Most High was showing Masha or Moses on the mount when he was on the mount for those 40 days, showing him the secret of the times. Okay? So he told, told Moses that command the children of Israel to keep the Passover yes. in its appointed time, in its season, in its days, plural. So it was a celebration. And if you do this, none of the plagues shall come upon them in that year. So if they refuse to do it, and then if you go into Exodus 34, we brought that out last, uh, uh, last Sabbath, okay, during the Passover, we brought that out, that Thrice in a year, all the men child, 20 and above, must appear before the Most High. Con, that's what we brought out. They, it was an ordinance forever. So now we see that, that they must worship him in spirit and truth. So truth is the Most High's law. Christ is the truth, the way, and the life, according to St. John 14 and 6. Now, if you will, uh, to my eShop, you would take us away. Just give me a second to get to. Everybody should now... Uh, turn to the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 29. And she's going to take us away at starting from verses 11. And we're just going to read one verse each person. So from what I see here, we'll go uh, my Isha and then her mom and then our sister Veronica and then Destiny and then uh, and then Sister Kimmy and then Brother Babaka, the last verse. 
right. just one for this one. 11 to what? 11 to 16. We're all reading one verse. So if you could read loud, if you don't mind. Isaiah 29 and 11. And the vision of all <coughs> is become into you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. So the Most High said that his book, his word, is as a vision that is sealed that those who cannot understand delivers to someone and say, read this. I, I don't understand what I'm seeing. Next. 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. So the book was delivered to someone that didn't study to show themselves approved. <laughs> Go ahead. Fine. I pray thee, and he saith, I am not learned. I don't I don't understand what this is going on. Why am I reading this vision about this book? Which I told you the vision today, the worship, here it is, the ordinance of true worship. Next. Wherefore, the Most High says, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me, but have removed their heart. They did what? They removed their heart. So their minds, because the heart means the mind. This is what we ponder and that we evaluate and we think upon. They removed their hearts from, go ahead. Far from me, and their fear towards me in, is taught by the precept of men. That's Mark 7 and 7. Why do you break the commandments of the Most High God to keep the traditions of men? Uh, is, you ne is that it? Uh -huh, yes, sir. 14. Therefore, behold, I, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. So in other words, that their wise men and their prudent or diligent men who are knowledgeable, it said it shall be hid from them. Because the Bible tells in 1 Corinthians 6 that the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High. Okay? And the Most High's wisdom to the world is foolishness to them. Next, Sister Kimmy. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Most High, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Are you are you hearing this? Yes, do, do you, do, I know we all understand what is being devised against us right now. I walked into the store yesterday, me and Ock Aaron, I'm just real quick. And we noticed that we heard the thing the president talking about, yeah, get ready, prepare for the food shortages. Now, mind you, over two and a half years ago, we read about all this stuff. So this is more predictive programming, not to be taken lightly because the most high word affirms these things. So now we're seeing, we're looking at the signs written, but yet the wise will see it and understand, but the wicked will see it and not lay it to heart and not understand. Oh. And they'll continue to go upon that way until they're pierced through. So the people who are devising this stuff, they're saying, the Most High said, woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel. So there are people who go... they. Does anyone want to, do you want to expound on that for us, uh, Sister Kimmy, since you read that? Do I want to expound on it? Yes. <laughs> Media, like oh, <laughs> no, no, like, I mean, just read it again and just, just expound a little bit for us and, and, and go a little bit deeper into what do you believe that that's saying, like, from what you can see with your eyes, if you don't mind. Well... It's as if they, the council that they're doing behind closed doors, it's as if the, they think that the Most High doesn't see what they're doing. No. But. Exactly. To them. <laughs> so that woe means destruction to them. So to add on, for what I get from it is like, just to highlight that verse, is that there are people who see, they, they intentionally do deep things, which they think is deep as if they can hide it and keep it from the most high. But Proverbs 21 and 30 tells us there is no wisdom, no understanding or counsel against the most high. So if the most high 
commanded for, let's say, like, think about this, some of the things that we've heard, I've heard reports, beautiful reports. There are some people who tried to keep people from the truth. They couldn't stop it. If you're meant to receive the truth, you're going to get the truth. Now, once the Most High give you the truth, you got to do everything that you can do to keep the truth because there are some people who seek deep, deep counsel to try to turn the truth that you received as truth from the Most High that was confirmed, reaffirmed, written, ordained, approved, and try to turn you out the way and have you scratching your head as if you're confused. When you're not confused because the Most High is not the author of confusion. They're confused, right? Yeah. So in other words, it's saying like, that, so they say to themselves, they're thinking like, well, no one knows what we're doing. They, 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 they're thinking that, listen, that, and forgive the way I'm gonna use my term of speech, they're thinking that we are stupid. <laughs> They're dumb. They don't know nothing. Like we got all the big degrees, and we got. But they didn't know that it was the Most High using them and using them in His hand as a whooping stick. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, brother. So, anything else that you that you would like to add, uh, Sister Sister Kimmy? No. You up, brother? Okay. Surely, surely your timing of Things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Now, did you hear that? Yeah. Surely you're turning of things. So you were absolutely right, uh, Sister Kenny, when you said that they're thinking that they're doing something, no one sees it. The next verse affirms exactly what, so the scripture, like you have some people saying, that ain't what the scripture mean. But the Bible is not of no private interpretation for anyone. The Bible is for reproof and correction that the man of God, the people of God, may be thoroughly furnished. Go ahead, brother. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the time, the time, uh, or, or shall, excuse me. Uh -huh. Or shall the, the, the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. So if the most high made now, this is important. I try to remember this when you, because we're going to read about there are vessels to honor and then there's vessels to dishonor. So the most high made them. Some people have been made and fit for destruction because they weren't fit to get it. The most high gave them an opportunity, but not being mixed with faith when they heard it. They didn't believe in the most high because why? It's now to the point, brothers and sisters, you've heard me. If you've never heard me say it again, I'm going to say it again. It's time for action. It's time for execution of us executing the, the righteous and rehearsing the righteous acts to know it for yourself. Now, uh, let's go over to Matthews uh, 15. And it's one, two, three. Let me get this right. Let me get to Matthews. Matthews 15, and we'll start at verses 9. Oh, we'll start at verses 8. So let's see. We'll all read two now. So let's bring it full circle and I'll start. Matthews 15 and 8, uh, verses 8 and verses 9. Tell me when you all get there so I can read. I like hearing those pages. That means that mean we're fully engaged. That's why. <laughs> or if you have your phone, like, you know, so we can read it. Matthews 15. And we're going to start at verses 8, and we're going to read all the way down to 20. So I'll read the first two. I'm reading verses 8 and 9. We all there? All right. We heard, yes. Okay. Yeah. Make sure Sister Kimmy's still with us. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Yes. Verses 8 says, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me. The same thing that we read in Isaiah 29, and I believe it was verses 13, if I remember correctly, that particular verse, yes. Verses nine, but in vain they do worship me. So it's not enough just to worship with our mouths and lips if we don't have the action, the execution behind worship. Because now I just, we took today to show you what worship is. The most high, I believe the most high wanted the, the worshipers who was going to receive this to really get this. Because I believe it is your worship, my worship, that will become a battle axe in the most high hands to see mm. our enemies trodden under our foot. Mm. That's how they have done us. 
Not that we was wishing anything because the, the most high, excuse me, not the most high, but Yeshai, the son of the most high says what? In old times, it says an eye for an eye. Yes. If your enemy smites you, smite him this way. Right. But in the new, Yasha says, pray for thy enemies. Yeah. So I believe, and again, like I said, no per, no, no, uh, no private interpretation of my personal interpretation, but I believe that it means to warn the enemies that they would turn from their wicked ways, like it says in Ezekiel 18 yeah. and, and the book of Ezekiel 33, warn the wicked to turn from their sin. Okay? So I pray that the Most High cut their time, cut their time short. Why? Because if the Most High did not cut the time short, no flesh would be saved. So these people, I don't even know if we call them people, these these entities are hell-bent on destroying. That's they right. really believe they're being faithful to their worship because the devil is spoiling them, and not in a good way. Right. Okay, like spoiled milk to where they're no longer profitable, they're no longer going to hear the word of God, no longer believe the word of God from the ministers of the Most High God. And that's the sad thing. This is where we are. Right. I don't know if you can see it. But that's why that's why the script, like I said, the most high gave me these scriptures in a matter of like 30 minutes. Mm. All from the all from waking up, seeing the vision, praise. And I'm like, so here we go. But not to take for uh next up is my Isha. Oh, yes, ma'am. This morning the Lord woke me up and he said the same thing you're saying, but I can hear him saying in my ear about how people are not real. Mm. They're not coming forth with realness towards you. Sincerity. Yeah, in their life, they're saying they love God. And they say that they're true worshipers, but he doesn't feel that wholeness. Mm. Just what the scripture said. He was talking, and I was going to talk about it today on my Facebook page, that because um, they got really sincere, and mm. they just kick back and thinking they're just going to walk in. Mm, to the it kingdom. Ain't gonna be that kind of story. It's not that everyone got to go through the fiery furnace of affliction. No, they try. They, when they get ready for the kingdom, they think they just gonna walk in, <coughs> and it ain't gonna be that kind. It ain't gonna be like that. That's true. Because he he he, he got feelings just like we do. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he he gets he angry. Him, and that's a big way of hurting him. Mm, you right. say that you can't wish it him. You can't mm. glorify him. You can't magnify him. You can't exhort him. You're right. too good. You're too precious. Oh, I got my car. You can talk about your car, your home, your job, and, right. your, and your education, but you can't just humble yourself. That's why I say stretch out on the floor, lay out That's right. on your knees. That's and right. Just let him have his way and, and just saying, Thank you, Father. Thank That's you. right. Give him a praise. Praise all you. They don't need to do they, that. They, no they, they don't do that no more because they have like a what they call a power presentation. And not to take anything away from anyone, but there are true believers, and this is like an APB in the spirit that we're praying the most. Like the prayers, the prayers that have gone up were ordained by the Father. Like He told us that we would be doing this, and so I believe that by us making up the hedge, doing what we're doing, being faithful to the understanding He's given to us, the Most High, as it tells in Ephesians one and eighteen, or from sixteen down to eighteen, He will continue to increase your understanding. So that way you're firm, that you are effectual to him. You're not just coming before him and say, oh yeah, just going through how you, the motions. Oh yeah, yeah God, just get what you want. Yeah. You can't help but have emotions when you're showing grace to yeah. worship. Right. It's not just a skill thing. Go glorify. Yeah. It is going into the presence. In yeah. his presence. And once you go into the presence of God, yeah. the spirit takes over. That's right. So Absolutely. Not, you know, people can act like, oh, how do you do I've been in those kind of churches. Right. Now. And there's nothing wrong with them. That's the way they praise God. Right. But me, I get under. You want to get deeper into it, yeah. Yeah, because I want to feel his presence yes. in my soul. Yes. I need to feel him in my feet. I need yes. to feel him. In my head. That's right. That's I need right. to feel him all over me. That's right. I go through trials in my life. That's right. I don't know about nobody else, but I go through You know your trials. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. I through, and I need to feel something that's higher than this earth. That Absolutely. To take me I'm on. I that's know right. A power. And I know there's a clean, righteous spirit. That's right. That will uh, all unrighteousness in me. And me too. That's me, right. Right. Location to fortify me, to press, keep pressing, smile at your enemy. Right. I, well, you, that's I right. don't smile at my enemy. That's right. That's right. Because flesh acts up too. Yeah. But when the Holy Spirit get a hold of me, I, I remember my son, you know say. what you want to eat. I'll feed you. <laughs> right. And that, that in my heart, I ain't doing this. You know. 
<laughs> that's right. Well, but that's true. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that love begin to come in. That love, and, that's and right. Circulate that's down right. In you and get all up in you. You know, <laughs> love. Even, even if they done poison you, you say, let me, yeah. you know, do something. And he bless you. Bless, yeah. bless those that, that use you despitefully. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's right. That's how we're going to make it to the kingdom. That's right. That's why worship is the worship is it. Yes. Is the main key to get God's attention. Mm. When I was worshiping God all the time, every yeah. day, the blessings was flowing, coming from left to right. I, I wasn't even looking. Unexpected. Where is the higher? Mm. Yes. See, got to, got, to, got to stay before him. Well, thank you for sharing that, sister. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. This people draweth a nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Oh, I read eight and nine. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I was reading nine. It says, but they. It says, it says, but in vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrines, the commandments of men. You're on ten and eleven. Okay. Sorry. And he called the multitude. I think right. Is that right? Hold on, I'm gonna do that. I didn't know you read nine. I yeah, I read eight and nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. You're on 10 and 11. Okay. 10. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth that defileth a man, but that which cometh out the mouth, this defileth a man. So now we see this is Yasha, who the one that is learned, who is the law, is telling them that, okay, about this worship. They're drawing, these people are worshiping. Now, if you look at the uh, the the context from uh, verses one down to seven, Yasha called those worshipers hypocrites. A hypocrite is an actor. Mm -hmm. That means someone has a part. They might have on, if you will, I'm just speaking language. They might have on their church clothes, or they might have on their outfit, appearing as they're fitting the part. Mm -hmm. But when it came down to true worship, him, they said out their mouth, but their hearts, their minds, wasn't stayed on him. Okay, go ahead. Well, then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? Are you hearing this? <laughs> so now they now they offended now. Yeah. Go ahead. 13. And he answered and said, Every plant which is my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted Ooh, up. Are you hearing it? Now did, now did we not say that in the prayer though? Yeah. So every plant that his heavenly father have not planted will be uprooted. You next, sis. Oh, okay. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's like you shy just knew how to come right back at him. You know, so tell, he tell he telling it just like it's plain and it's straightforward, you know what I mean? It's no fluff around it. So they were offended. Mm-hmm. I'm at verse um, 14. 14. Yeah, 14 and 15. Let them alone. He said, let them alone. What did he say? What did he say? Say it again. So that's what you have to do at times. The people, again, if they're not uh, according to the doctrine of holiness with the most high saying, sometimes you just got to let people go because now, now your peace, now your joy, now you like, man, I'm being vexed. It's like, that's why Yah says lay hands on no one suddenly. Mm. One has to submit and surrender their life. If they're not going to submit and surrender their lives, and people, a tree is known by what? It's fruit. It's right. We're all trees. Right. So a good tree cannot bring forth bad fruit. A bad tree cannot bring forth good fruit. So this is the planting of, like Yasha says, every tree that his father has not planted, or every, you know what I'm saying, every plant uproots. Go ahead, sis. Uh, they be blind leaders of the blind. They, they, that's what my Bible says. They be blind right, that's right. leaders of the blind. They're, li they're blind leaders of the blind. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Now's not the time to be falling into no ditch right now. Now's not the time. Because see, what happens is the pressure of the world and the things of, of normalcy, like we were talking last night, and we we're saying, like, in this place, in the daughter of Babylon, it's so filthy. That we have we have extended family in the body of a Mashiach that made it outside of the confines of the captivity of America. And they're in place and they're like, you don't know what the peace is like. You don't, you're not in the rat race, you're not like because you're right in the filth. 
So the only thing, and it's truth to that because everyone, it's, it's like you go to a certain place and you can feel a certain energy. You yeah. have certain people come around you and you can feel the energy and you can kind of discern like, wait a minute, this is not the type of energy that I want to involve myself or my family, you know what I mean, have around under my roof. That's right. So when you begin to discern these type of things, and this is why we have to, and we're, even in our captivity, even in this filthy daughter of Babylon, we have to get to the place of the Most High, and it's time for us now to put actions. Our plans that we've been planning, now to put it into action. And the Most High says, listen, there must be, what did he say? Uh, it must be heresies, so that those who are approved will be made manifest. So you'll have people coming and saying, trying to turn people out of the way, but yet, because they didn't have the understanding, they didn't submit or commit to the Most High's way. And because of that, many people, they get offended, just like the, the, the scribes and Pharisees were offended. And Yasha said, what? Let them alone. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Then Peter, then answered Peter and said unto him, declare unto us this parable. Now tell us what this means now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, right? Okay. Yeah. That's right. Next. Okay. Uh, 16. And Yeshia said, are ye also yet without understanding? Wait, 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 wait. He's talking to his disciples now. Say that again. And Yeshia said, are ye also yet without understanding? Are you also yet without? You don't understand what this means? Go ahead. Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the drop. Drop. To the drought, and now they're not talking about people eating. Just to make it clear, you're gonna we're gonna that's why I said we're gonna read down 20. We're not talking about eating, you know, top of the line swine, color Rossi wine. And I'd say that being a little bit facetious, like we're not talking about eating uh, uh pork bacon, we're not talking about eating catfish and shrimp. He's not talking about that. Watch, it's gonna make it plain. You up, Sister Kimmy? If you're there, she there, but. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. So the Most High says, "What comes out of you?" Because you suppose we we I suppose we said that we're wor the true worshipers. And you take this all the way back to Matthew's uh, chapter. What, what was, it? was it? Matthew's? Uh, I'm sorry, it was Saint John four, where it says that the true worshipers, right? So we took this back to there. Yasha said the hour come when the true worshipers will worship the Father because he seeketh for such to worship him. So it's not just enough to just, he's saying, listen, what comes out of your mouth, that means it is very imperative that we understand that we are accountable for the things that come out of our mouth because in Luke 12 and 36, I think 36, if I remember correctly, it says that every idle word men shall give an account for in the day of judgment. Every idle word. So we say something that was not profitable to the hearers, then it becomes idle. That means it was, it was, you, why did you say it? Go ahead, sis. Shh. Yeah. For out of the heart proceeded evil thoughts, murders, yeah. adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. Are you my goodness it just itemized everything that came out from that heart that's why we cannot come before the most high to worship him sing and praise praise him or even taking the being a part of the feast of unleavened bread and communion having these things in our hearts it's on you brother these are uh verse 20 these are the things which defile a man but to eat with unwashed hands, defile, defileth not a man. So I'll give you, let's see the next one. Let's see, we have another one that we're going to hear. Uh, let's see. Yes. Now, so it's not that that defile a person. It is what? It is those things of eating, uh, not, not eating, but not, not the eating of unwashed hands. And what they were eating there was bread, by the way. <laughs> they weren't eating anything. So the, 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 the question at hand, because see, some people will show this particular scripture, like, see, it's not what you eat that defile a man. They were eating bread there. But they didn't wash their hands before they sat down to eat. 
And so they were offended. So Yasha used it as a time to teach, to tell them that the heart, don't tell me that you're worshiping him, worshiping the father, giving homage to the most high, when yet you have, as it itemized in line 19, for out of the heart, the mind, proceedeth evil thoughts. So you have people, evil means in a negative sense. Mm-hmm. You, you, you had, you, you had uh, Yasha speaking and you had people get offended by the things that he said. Mm-hmm. And he even asked the disciple, are you also yet without understanding? So he went and broke it down for him. So I'm, I'm showing you this, brothers and sisters, that this is all, uh, you know, pointing to the ordinance of worship, that we cannot come before the Most High to worship him when we have a tarnished heart or in bitterness or unforgiveness or whatever it is that that to make one look at, like they looked at Yasha with vitriol. They looked at him like his own, some of the own kinsmen from the same tribes or whatever the case is, his own people for status, for, for gain, had him killed. If they did it to him, they'll definitely do it to one of us. Amen. So knowing these things, this is why you have to be wise as a serpent and harmless as, as a dove. Because they're looking to, to say something, to make an accusation, to bring up an accusation against you. Okay? Right. Why? To try to, to try to harm the truth. To see, like, see? They, they ain't no love. Let's go over to the book of Joel now. And we're going to read verses 12, excuse me, Joel 2, let me be in specific, Joel 2, verses 12, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to you, Brother uh, Babakia, because you still have another verse to read. Jo- Joel uh, 2? Chapter, yeah, Joel chapter 2, so let us all get there. Uh, Joel chapter 2, and he's going to start at verses, he's going to read verses 12, and then I'll pick up one, and then we'll just all read one until I get to the next uh, passage of Scripture. Joel, so is that, I'm trying to get there. It's after Hosea, right? Yeah. Okay, here it is. I'm there. Are you all there? And when you're there, Brother Bible Kid. Okay, verse 2, <laughs> chapter 2, verse 2? Uh, verse 12, please. Verse 12, okay. And, and so what this says right here in subtitle, if you don't mind me to just say what it says in my uh, study Bible, it says, the most high is called to repentance. So their heart was, they were saying they were worshiping him, but they were shown through Yeshai, they were shown through the word that they were, they, they said that they were worshiping him. But he said, well, if you're worshiping, why are these things in your heart? Yes. Come on. Therefore, also now, saith the most high, Ahia, turn ye even to me with all your heart. No, and some of your heart. All your heart. Just a little bit of your heart. With all your heart. Yes. All of your heart. Come on. Entirely. Go ahead. And with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Mm. So the most high wants us to turn to him with our whole mind. That means, do you understand, brothers and sisters, in the book of Sirach 16 and verses 11, praise you, Ahia. It says that Proverbs. Let me read this to you. The Most High smashed the Egyptian army. He said that even if there were only one stiff-necked person, verse 11, it would be a wonder if he remained unpunished. For what the Most High, matter of fact, that's 15, right? No, that's 16. What the Most High, he is mighty, to forgive, but he also pours out wrath. So that's why he's saying to turn to him with your whole heart, turn. even to, to him, turn to him. Yes. Let me read verse 13. And he says, and rend your heart, your mind. So that means your mind, you like, like literally looking at the things that you see. Remember that book started from Isaiah 29. The book was delivered, a vision was told. And you're trying to you're trying to contemplate and understand and ponder on well, what does this mean? What does this mean in life and my life and my walk as me as a true worshiper? How does that apply to me? 
And how is my power, my God, since worship belongs to him, how does he receive my worship? Does he look at my worship as this? Does he also call me a hypocrite like Yeshia called them? Ye hypocrites? Or does he look at me as, wait, this is a true, authentic, his heart, his mind, his heart is rended. He's really hurt for the things that he did, the hurt of his people, the, the, the predicament that they're in. And so now he's turning to the most high with what? It, let's, it itemized it. Brother, Brother Bob, we just read it. It said to, with your whole heart and with fasting. Now, I was reading, brothers and sisters, and I'll get to that a little bit later. There was times that the children of Israel, they drew water. Instead of drinking that water, they threw that water out on the altar and, 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 and was thirsty and all that just to get into the spirit. They could have refreshed their, their flesh or whatever the case. Well, I'm thirsty right now. Let me drink some water. Yeah. But they threw it out as an offering to the Most High. They fasted that whole day with prayer, with weeping, and they thought about it. That's when your heart. That's what rending your heart is like. Most High, by thinking about even the sins of our forefathers. They walk contrary to the Most High. Mm -hmm. So you begin to think about oh. that, but you see the goodness of the Most High, Him waking us up and us being faithful to the truth that He has given to us and the responsibility that he has given to us to be able to teach and, and be a light yeah. in this dark world. Be a light to the Gentiles. Be a light to those in your house. Okay, I didn't mean to go on that. Uh, uh, it said, uh, verses 11, it said that, oh, for mercy and wrath are with the Most High. He is mighty to forgive, but he also pours out wrath. Okay. And that was Sirach 16 and 11. Okay. That's what it made me think of when I was hearing what Brother Babakir was, was reading. Turn to him. Because he's telling you to turn oh, to him. Man. Because if you don't, if we, and like, let's say if I was in defiance of the Most High. Remember what happened to the Pharaoh who tried to defy the Most High. When the, when, when the Most High sent Mashiach or Moses to the king of Egypt and said, tell them to let my people go. The Most High knew that he didn't, that, that, that king did not care about what, what uh, Mashiach was saying. He didn't care about the God that who Moses claimed that revealed himself. He looked at it with disdain, like, oh, okay, you're gonna turn the, you're gonna have your put down your, your staff and turn it into a snake. Oh, go give me the wise men, go give me the, the, the magicians. And they try to do what? Fabricate that. They try to emulate the same thing. They were to an extent because but but the most high he told him, listen, what you see me doing is far superior to what man is doing. So he, if far exceed, don't think that this is from a man. And see, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but look, the Most High sends his servants to tell his people. And again, to have true happiness, we must never, ever turn away from what the Most High told us in the way of the ordinance of true worship. Yes. Not only that, but to those who the Most High have placed over us in the Lord Yeshia. And that's the issue where people uh, don't, hum don't want to humble us. And we're like, I'm my own man. Yeah. Right. I ain't listening to nobody. And we've always been like the most high said is Exodus uh, 34. His people are super stiff. That's right. So but not to go on a, a long tangent. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> uh, verse 13. And rend your mind or your heart and not your garments and turn. He says it again unto the most high your power for he is gracious. The same thing that we just read in Sirach 16 and 11. He is gracious and merciful. So I think that people, no, not I think I know. What comes to people's mind most of the times, people will live in a habitual pattern of sin. They will bring these things upon themselves and all they're thinking about is the most high is merciful. They never thought about the, the sin that they brought, that they did to open up this thing to come upon them. Yeah. They didn't think that the most high, like he has feelings. He gets angry. He gets let, like not, you know, he gets let down to his children. What Son or daughter, believe in me. That's right. So he said, believe in me. I can. I don't care about what, what the whole world is doing. Believe in me. Turn to me and watch me save you. He said, let the multitude perish then for his law to disannul. Amen. But it seems as if in this momentarily world, because we live in what you call a temporal, uh, 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 a physical world, right? Where you can see and you can taste and you can That's smell. Right. All these things, we put limitations on the most high God as if he's out of, like he didn't experience, that like he didn't send his son to experience everything that you have experienced, everything that I've experienced. And then, and so when that happens, 
in our minds, this, this battle is going in our mind. What am I going to do to make things better? That's the same thing that happened. The devil did that to Eve. When her eyes became open, she took of, of Satan's venom and then she was able to manipulate. So now you have people manipulate. They're, they're at the blind lead the blind. They're already been manipulated. They, who they've been manipulated by? Come on, say it. The she, enemy, she, the she, devil she, manipulated she, them. Yeah. Now they took of him and then and, and so for a moment it was like it was chasing the high and it was good. But then it backfired on them because it comes with snares. And at the end, he wants your soul. And then once it backfires, now all of a sudden you're like, my goodness, you got to go even deeper. He's like, no, bring so you, you worshiping something. He's like, bring me some more. That's right. Lie some more. Right. And so you, be, you begin to chase this high. And the whole time, all we must do is resist the devil and then he will flee. Don't listen to his his uh, his explanations of why you're going through what you're going through. It, it starts with us. Taking, listen, I disobeyed the most high. He gave me a direct command. And what I did is I began to make explanations to, to justify or excuse the things that I have done. And then that, it brought this upon me. Yeah. So when we take accountability, then we say, you know what? With all this, Father, I can see the vision now. The vision was in your book. Your word told me that all souls belong to me. That's right. And if I turn away from you, it says that Lust, once lust is conceived, and I was conceiving, I'm in a world full of lust, and I have eyes and ears too, and I have feelings and, and things too. I was jealous, I was envious of the prosperity of the wicked. And sometimes people slip and they follow those, those things. But it is imperative that we hear the preaching of the Most High's word to instruct the children of the Most High God to turn back to the Most High so that we can recover, say recover, recover. Oh from the snares of the devil. So that same manipulation that was hap that happened to our four parents is the same manipulation that is happening right now. But through the word of the most high, through the finished and accomplished works of Yeshua, we see through all of the enemy's snares. We see through all of his uh, devices and we overcome him. See? So again, it says in verse 13, turn and, and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the most high your power for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of the evil. The most high don't want to see any souls destroyed, but he is not a man that he would lie. If he said the soul that sin would die, that means if that soul stays in sin, they will die. And no prayer, listen, no prayer of no one will save a person if they are hell bent on going against the most high, no one can deliver them out of that situation. Come on. 14. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing upon him, even, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the most high, your God. 15. Blow the trumpet. Oh, just one, Michelle. Oh, okay. Fifteen, blow the trumpet in Zion. That's what we're doing. We're blowing it. We're telling it like it is. Sanctify a fast. Mm -hmm. Call a solemn assembly. That means be. It's a serious time. Praise it's not right. a time to just joke around. That's right. right. The writing's on the wall. That hour is here. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. And still, people don't lay it to heart. Still. Yes. And the only thing that you can do is be thankful. To what the Most High has revealed to you. Save yourself. Save yourself from the story of generation. Uh, next. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. And, and how we sanctify him, Yash says, I sanctify myself. That means he kept himself from sin, from murmuring, all of that, so that they may be sanctified through the truth. So the law actually sanctifies you. By attending the holy feast days sanctifies you by us confessing our faults to the most high and getting that off of us and not carrying it and not shelving it. You get what I'm saying? It sanctifies us because if we don't, if we're not sanctified, then how can we come worship him? Because the people believe that they were forgiven for their sins. The people believe that they were healed. Belief is a strong thing. It's the placebo effect. We talking about this last night, last night. Myself, Aunt Aaron, and my Isha, 
we were like, man, the, this pandemic, this thing that they did. And, and now you have some, mostly we see our people, the people, our ethnicity, our, our Hebrews that are blacks, if you were African American, they run around with masks on their face and stuff. And they still, and I'm saying, well, well, listen, belief is a thing. It is strong. If they can convince you to believe it, <laughs> if they can convince you to believe it, this the placebo effect. Then that thing in your mind, you will believe them over the most high. Well, I choose to believe the most high. And it's not a placebo effect. It is the living word of the most high that is alive and active in us. Go ahead, sis. Uh -huh. Assemble the elders. Assemble the elders. Gather the children. What? What you say? Gather the children. Even the children supposed to be there. Oh. Come on. And those that suck the breath. Even the little babies, oh. infants. Come on. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber. Come on, Yasha. And, and the bride out of her closet. Are you ready? Praise Are you going to be like the five wise version? Yes. Yeah. Because I am. I'm praying. I'm praying that I'm able to make it. So I'm watching as well as praying. Okay. Next. Okay, uh, who would be Sister Kimmy would be next then. Are you there, Sister Kimmy? Oh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Let the priests, the ministers of the Most High, weep between the porch and the altar mm -hmm. and let them say, Spare thy people, O Most High, and give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their power? Where is their help? Ooh. Now, brothers and sisters, if, let me ask you, do you, who, who has a, do you all have an apocrypha? Yes, I have one. I got it. I can read it out of my phone. Uh, okay. I How about you, Sister Kimmy? Because now I want us to segue over to the book of Sirach, chapter one, and read the whole chapter there. Got it. Do you, if you don't, I can put it on the screen. I can open the one up. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. With that scripture she just read, yes. are they saying, because they took away our God and gave us their God, so... Is that the question they're asking? Bring us their God? Because uh, why are we in the condition we in? And it's like because they gave us a you know a, a false God, mm -hmm. and we've come into the light now, and we start to flourish. So I'm just saying. Yes, it's well. What I what I take from 17, and I can read the subtopics, and I always read their commentary with the, you know, being very uh, cautious of it. But what 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 it sounds from the context of what she read is that first the priests are the servants of the Most High, and they're crying to the Most High to spare thy people because the other the heathen the reproach means they're mocking and laughing. Ain't nobody gonna save you like the Syrians. Who gonna save you from our sword? The Americans and the Europeans and all of the, 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 the uh, not the Asian but just uh, China and all these strong military uh, power saying. Listen, we're so rich and powerful. We own industrial. Listen, for you to be able to eat, you're going to have to come bow down to us. And you're going to do what we say to do and be our servants and our slaves. And the people of the Most High saying, Father, do not give your inheritance over to a reproach to made mock and little, like, for right. they can see our nakedness. Our, our daughters running the streets, our, our sons in the streets, our, our sisters running around with revealing clothes and sleeping with their men being hormone. We, we are a holy regal nation. So to be opposite of that is the reproach of that. And the consequences of doing those type of action means there'll be violence in our neighborhood. There'll be drugs and we'll be plagued with diseases and all these things. The priests that supposedly the most high will be, wouldn't be telling the people to turn from their sin. They'll be actually promoting sin. Like up in the church on Sunday or whatever the case is, eating some pork and eating some ham, talking about God bless this plate right here. That's just an example of it, right? Mm -hmm. And people people celebrating the being a part of what you will call ceremonies, the devil ceremonies, like the things that we know. Like the most high said, your feast, the most high said that the people, the people's feast, he hates. But right. his feast, he don't hate his feast. Right. This is how we show honor and homage and love to. Right. But his people have uh his people who were taken captive 
because of our disobedience, have now suffered the curses that was written in the book of Deuteronomy. We brought that out. Uh, I believe that was the last prayer meeting from, from 15 and on down. When you go from verses 45 all the way to 48, the Most High says, since you refuse to serve me with joy for the want of all things. So everything that you want and need that your soul would desire, I would provide that for you. He said, only if my people would have. But his people said, Most High, we don't want your way. We want the ways that, you know, whatever, think about it. Uh, the, the way that society has taught, how they do it here in, in, in our, capti our captive lands. I want to do it this way. And the Most High said, no, he don't change for no one. So that's the reproach. So the Most High would take the reproach away from us to where they'd be like, man, think about it. People hate, uh, and people can smile in your face and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I was, we were talking last night and there are people, there have been generations of people whose great grandmas and grandpas and stuff who hate your guts. Mm. Just for the fact that you might be melanated, but we know it's more than that. It's the hostility that we're God's people. Right. And now, even in what they call evangelical, white Christian evangelicals, the people who can tell, oh, these, these Israelites and this and that, these people waking up, yeah, it's just hate speech. They hate the fact that God's people have love. The people who have been so downtrodden oh. still show love and don't repay evil for evil. Right. The Bible, the Most High says, we, don't, we overcome evil by doing good. We're not going to tip for a tap because by us doing good, that pours heaps of hot coals upon their head if they don't repent. We didn't wish for their destruction because we once we know what it's like to be a stranger. We don't hate our brothers, our, you know what I'm saying, for them to be destroyed. That's right. But listen, if one takes on the spirit of, of Satan, they suffer the fate of Satan and burn in hell with Satan. Or they can be delivered from Satan. And so I hope that I hope is that expounded. Yes, okay, I, I know I'm really long winded. I don't mean My to be. Right? <laughs> so that's what that reproach is. Seeing our people, like you go to a store like, living in these like in the urban area, like downtown. Seeing our people staggering like drunks, out there with wine bottles and all off of, off of dope and off of smoking weed and just don't yeah. out of their mind. That's the reproach. Quick to run towards evil, but when it comes to doing what the Most High says. They don't know. Like, what is it? Hand you the book. Like, it's hand, the book is handed to someone. Like, hey, read this. Tell me what this means. Well, the most it said the Most High gave them the spirit of slumber. He closed their eyes. So some people can't. No matter how much we try to show it to them, if we wanted to. At this point, I'm gonna say it again. There's no trying to convince anyone of anything. The only way that that we could save yourself, take heed. It tells take heed to yourself in the doctrine, and by doing so, you should save those who hear. So. Let's go over to now uh, the book of Sirach, uh, chapter one. I have my book. I have the annotated one. So let me just pull it up right here really quick. One second. Mm. Pseudopograph. What's another name for the book of Ecclesiastes. Oh, okay. Yeah. The book of Ecclesiastes, uh, or Ecclesiasticus, excuse me, Ecclesiasticus, or the wisdom of Sirach, or his name would have been Yasha or Yeshaya too. Yeah. All right, so I'm going, let me get there. And uh, I'm going to Sirach 1. One second. Writing small here for me. Okay, so whose turn is it to read? Uh, thank you. So much. Sister, Sister Kimmy read last, right? So then it be it would be on you, brother. Are are you? Do you all have a, a apocrypha here? I can go online. I have them, but I yeah, I got them. Okay, if you can go online, or I can put it on the screen for you if you like it. Yeah. Okay, so brother, it's uh twenty five verses here. And we're going to have a little bit to read. Why don't you read four of the, four of the verses so we can cover a lot of it? 16, chapter 16, starting uh, at 11. Uh, Sirach okay. chapter 1, please. Uh, let's see. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Yes, sir. Okay, starting at 1. Yes, sir. 1 through 4. We're going to all do 4 this time. Okay, gotcha, brother. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable. Children. Is that what it says? I thought it says all wisdom comes 
Is it wisdom? Yeah. No, hold on. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm at 16. I'm sorry. Okay, no worries. Okay, chapter 1, verse 1. All right. The words, uh, the words of the preacher, the son of David, King Jerusalem. Am I am I reading? That's not the right one. No, I don't think. I, see, you said sixteen. Uh no, Sirach chapter one. Okay, uh, this one's reading wrong. I think it's reading wrong. I don't think I got the right one. Let's see. Yes, I can put it up on the screen. Okay. Uh, yeah. Divine, not ask me. I'm put it on the screen for the brothers and sisters to, okay. to see. I put. It, I was doing that right as we speak. Man, it say great minds think alike. Let me put it on the screen here. Uh, share. It might be kind of small. I'll try to make it as big as I can. And let me look at the screen again. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Hold on one second. I think we should do it like that. Okay. And I want to make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, so the first four is going to be you, Brother Bobby Kier. So Rock chapter 1, verse 1, our wisdom comes from the Most High Higher and is with him forever. Verse forever. The, the, the sand of the sea, the drop of rain, and the days of eternity, who can count them? Verse 3, the height of heaven and the breadth of the earth. The abyss and, the, and wisdom, who can search them out? Verse mm. 4 Wisdom was created before all things, and the prudent understand it from eternity. Mm. Five, I'll read five through eight. It says here, I'll highlight it, make it a little bit bigger here. Verse 5 The root of wisdom. To whom has it been revealed? Her clever devices. Who knows them? There is one who is wise, greatly to be feared, sitting upon his throne. The Most High himself created wisdom. He saw her and appointed her. He poured her out upon all his works. Verse 8. She dwells with all flesh according to his gift, and he supplied her to those who love him. Now, Isha will be next, 9 through 12. Go ahead, ours is messed up. Mine is my mom's. It's, it's on the screen. screen. If you would go to the screen, you can read it from there. Okay. Let's highlight it for you. Okay, it's small, but uh, the fear of the Most High is glory and exaltation exaltation oh, exaltation yes and gladness and a crown of rejoicing did you all hear that i know there's a little bit of talking going on so the fear reverence remember worship meant reverence so when we're worshiping the most high we 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 fear the most high we reverence him so the fear of the most high is glory and exaltation that he's being exalted and by default, by us exalting him, the Most High says, you're not a peculiar person and you're not a special person just because you're special. It tells us in Leviticus 19 and 5, because 5 and 6, because we keep his commandments, what makes us a peculiar people. So people ought not to think too much of themselves, but if the Most High placed a great emphasis upon who he would give his supernatural law or the, or the ordinance of worship to, he brought Israel close to worship him so that through, through them would show the rest of the inhabitants of the known world how to worship the one true creator. Come on. 10. The fear of the Most High delights the heart and gives gladness and joy and long life. Are you hearing this? Go ahead. 11. With him who fears the Most High... It will go well at the end. It will go well with him that fear the Most High. At, yes. at the end. Go ahead. It will go well at the end. On the day of his death, he will be blessed. Well, the fear. Uh, two, it says. I know small for you. Yeah, super small on the screen. 
To fear the Most High is the beginning of wisdom. She is created with the faithful in the womb. Con. If you turn to the side, it would be bigger too. Like if you turn your phone to the side because you're reading it straight, then your screen would be bigger. See? Okay. Uh, next. Let's just keep it moving though so we can just keep, we got a lot to cover here. Right? Yes, ma'am. One thirteen. Okay, thirteen. And set them before all the people, and afterward they. That, that that's not it. What? You're you're at um, we're at Sirach one. I, I can I have an apocrypha in there. I have I some. Yeah, you got to go. Just come back around to her. Let's okay. Go next. You you do her. She made among men an eternal foundation, and among their descendants she will be trusted. To fear the Most High is wisdom, full measure. She sanctifies or satisfies. Men. Okay, she satisfies men with her fruits. She fills their whole house with desirable goods. Mm, praise the High. And their storehouses. With her clothes. Woo! The fear of the Most High is the crown of wisdom, mm. making peace and perfect health to flourish. Do you all hear that? Mm -hmm. All from so if we worship the Most High, the way He said, gives us health, gives us peace, sanctifies us. Uh, sister, are you reading? No. Okay, uh, sister. Kimmy, if you will. Are you still with us, sister? Do you, do you, are you reading from the screen or do you do you have your apocrypha? I'm reading from the, I'll go ahead and read from the screen. Same thing as you guys. Okay. okay. He, okay. He saw her and apportioned her. He rained down knowledge and discerning comprehension. And, oh, is it, is the, um, is it cutting it off? Yeah, I gotta make it small so you can okay, see I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna read it out of my book so I could just see it. Mom, it's, okay. it's easier in my book, okay. Uh, he, hold on, son. He both saw and measured her. He rained down skill and knowledge of understanding and exalted the honor of those who hold her fast. To fear the most high is the root of wisdom. Her branches are length of days. That's right. I'll keep going, two more. Unjust wrath can never be justified for the sway of his wrath is his downfall. Mm. See, it says a man's anger tips the scale of his uh, tips the scale, tips the scale to his ruin. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A man that is patient will resist for a season, and afterward, gladness will spring up to him. Mm. Okay, it brings it all the way back around to you, brother Babakia. The next four. He will hide his words until the right moment. And the uh, he who holds, is it, he. Will hide his words. Yeah, he Are will you... hide his words until the right moment. Yes. And, and the lips of many will tell his good sense. Verse 25. And the treasures of wisdom are a wise saying. But but God God but holiness yes. is an abominable abomination to a sinner. Mm. Verse, verse 26. If you desire win, wisdom. Keep the commandments. Do what? If you desire wisdom, keep the commandments. So it's important that we keep the commandments. And these holy days, how he says to do it, worshiping the Most High is how we keep the Most High's commandments. You can't just go worship the Most High any way that you want to. Go uh, ahead. And the Most High higher will supply it for you. That's right. He, so he will supply wisdom for you if... You keep his commandments, but if you reject and hate his commandments, That's right. then your understanding will be corrupted of him. Right. Go verse, ahead. Verse 27. 
for the fear of the most high high is wisdom and instruction and he delights in fit, uh, fit, fidelity fidelity and meekness so the most high delights in fidelity and meekness that means like he the in, the, the richness of increasing like brotherly and sisterly love yes health and harmony tranquility he likes this, the prospering of his people. He wants us to flourish. Yeah. I guess it brings it back around to me, huh? Uh, 28 through 30 says, do not disobey the fear of the Most High. Do not approach him with a divided mind. Remember the heart? Rend your heart and not your, your uh, garments. Uh, 29. Oh, my goodness. Be not a hypocrite in men's sight. Same thing that we heard Yasha telling to the, the people, ye hypocrites, and keep watch over your lips. You see how all this is hitting? He says, not what a person puts in his mouth defiles the person, but the words, in other words, the things, the sayings that are coming out of your mouth yeah. defileth the individual. So it says in verse 30, do not exalt yourself lest you fall and thus bring dishonor upon yourself. The most high will reveal your secrets. Yeah. See that? And cast you down in the midst of the congregation. Why will he do it? It was all because they didn't worship him. Because you did not come in the fear. Fear means reverence. Uh, uh, worship means reverence. Yes. Yeah. So interchangeable because you did not come in the fear to truly worship the father because you did not come in the fear of the most high in your what your heart your mind was full of deceit deceit right. let's go ahead and jump over to now uh Sirach 22 no that's the wisdom of Sirach yeah, yeah. Let's go over to chapter two now. I'm just going to scroll right down here, and we want to start at because it says in my in my uh, annotated apocrypha and chapter two. I wanted this because this is a prayer against sinning. All right, and I believe I have one more verse to read, so I'll read that first verse and I'll leave it off to the next person. So two, was it right, Sirach? If it's Sirach. Oh, I'm Sirach 22. So Sirach 22. We'll go over to chapter 22. I want to put it on the screen too. But I want to read to you what the subtopic says. It says, a prayer for help against sinning. So I'm going down to chapter 22 right now. I know it's moving kind of fast. But we'll... And I'm going to start at verses 27. And it might read a well. My annotated apocryphal reads a little bit different from what we see here before us. But it says in verses uh, 22 and verses, I jumped way too far, 27. You all there? Yeah. yeah. I got to make it a little bit small. So lucky that it's, it's small because on the screen it's going to look a little bit small. So unless you're reading from a, a laptop, if you're looking at this from your phone, it's going to be really hard to, to uh, see. Yes, I can see it, uh, Brother T. Okay, so it nice. says here, I'll, I'll read verses uh, 27 because I had one more, and then from there, my Isha, she would take off, uh, take over. So I'm at verses 22 and verses 27. Yes, I said verses 22. Right? Yes, I'm, thank you. Sorry. Chapter 22. Verses 27. Oh, that a guard were set over my mouth and a seal of prudence upon what? My lips. I mean, our lips can cause us to remember they said it was a slip of the, the slip on the pavement is a better than the slip of the tongue. Because when you let something go forth out of your mouth, you unspoke that and you got to give an accountability for it. That's what you bring judgment upon you. That's right. So it says, oh, God, oh, that a guard was set over my mouth and a seal of prudence upon my lips 
that it may keep me from falling so that my tongue, what, may not destroy me. Mm. And this is a prayer for help against sinning. And we're just going to read all the way to, uh, 23 now to verses uh, verses 6. So we'll just, we'll just read one here. Go ahead. Almost high, Father and ruler of my life, do not abandon me to their counsel and let me not fall because of them. Mm. All that wit were set over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over my mind, that they may not spare me in my errors. Mm, my errors. That it may not pass by. That's all I can say. Uh, my sins. I know it's kind of small too. Okay. In other words, it would be chastised sometimes. Yes, like the chastisement is good. It don't feel good, but it brings it brings forth the the the, the goodly fruit, as the Bible says. Okay, verses uh, three. Lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction, and I fall before my adversaries, and my enemy rejoice over me, mm. whose hope is far from my mercy. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, it brings it back to Sister Kimmy now. Oh, most high father and power of my life, don't give me haughty eyes. Brother Babaka, you got the next verse five. Okay. And remove from me evil desire. You might as well go ahead and finish the six one too. Yeah. Let neither gl uh, gluttony nor See, love. Now, gluttony is an over excess, and it's important that we hear that. Gluttony is just like stuffing yourself, and I just would, you want more of it. You can be a glutton and not just eating. This, but, verse, this one says, let not the greediness of the belly, nor less of the flesh take hold of me. See that? So, but, but, but a glutton is someone that consumes. It's not just overeating, but gluttony. Gluttony is a gluttonous is let me let me pull up the definition like of a gluttony. Like houses, what they call them. Gluttony. No, they all packed up and everything. Uh, what is that called? Oh yeah, that's it. So gluttony definition says. Now look at this. I, I told you it wasn't just about. It wasn't just about food. Look at this on, coming on your screen, dear family. Gluttony. This is what gluttony is. Can you all see that? Habitual greed or excess yes. in eating. Mm. So we were taught the more that we can get, just get, 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 or make life easy. But riches, they fade away. Riches not done in righteousness or got by righteousness, you're only stacking it up. The wicked who are taking wealth is only stacking it up for the righteous. But okay, uh, was that it on that? No. Let neither gluttony nor lust overcome me and do not surrender me to a shameless soul. Mm. The soul is the invisible part of you. What makes makes you up, who you are, that, that continues to go on. Now, we're going to go ahead and segue over to Jeremiah 2, 14 through 25. I'm going to put that on the screen. Jeremiah 2. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the screen. Give me one second. I'm trying to get there quick. Jeremiah 2. 14 through 25. Yeah, you should all be able to see this on the screen here now. All right, I'm sharing the screen here. So I guess it brought it back to me then, huh? It says, is Israel, wait, I'm sorry, are we all there? Yeah. yeah. I have it on the screen too. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? 
Why is he spoiled? Same thing that we're asking in, when, it's, when it talked about in Joel 2. And it said, I believe it was verses 17, that let the ministers pray to the Most High to spare thy people and let not thy inheritance become a, a reproach to the heathen where they will say, where is their power? Yeah. Our power is answering. Verse 15. Next. Uh, you ready? <laughs> I want to, like I said, I need, to, I need to focus right here. Yes, yes. The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burned without inhabitant. So the young lions, they made his land a waste. And his cities are burnt without inhabitants. Speaking of Israel, us. So in our cities, we see where, where we predominantly, uh, like it says, the Jews are in the ghetto. So in that place, we see our young men, the young lions running around, you know, heated to the, to the core. Full of the wrath and the indignation of the Most High. So it made our cities a spoil. Read on. Next. Also, the children of that's what, yes, and top of kings have broken the crown of thy head. Seventeen. Has thou not procured this unto thyself, and that thou hast forsaken the Most High, our Father, when He led thee by the way? Next. And now what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt to drink the waters of Sihor? Mm, now remember it said, well we, get the, well, we did read that part where it says that we had kept the feast after coming across the sea on Sahar. I read that in the book of Jubilees. It's right here, Jubilees 49 and verses 23. It says, for ye celebrated the festival with haste when ye went forth from Egypt till ye entered into the wilderness of Shur on the side, uh, for on the shore of the sea, ye completed it. Well, I missed that one. That's not what that said. That one said, what? that said Sihor. This says Shur. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but go ahead. Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria to drink the waters of the river? So now are you going to, are you going to depend on Egypt? Are you going to depend on your cap, you, the, those who've taken you captive? Where the place that we were born, when we see everything toppling, or are we going to now put our trust in the Most High? Right. You up next, Sister Kimmy. Now look what it says now. So the Most High, he, he just said that. And now has, has thou to do in the way of Egypt. Are you going to continue to do and provide for yourself in the ways that the Egyptians, the way that the people of the world do? Go ahead. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backslidings shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter. And it's to listen to this. It's an evil and bitter thing. Mm. It says your own, thy own wickedness mm. shall correct thee. And mm. thy backslide, that means turning out of the way. Go ahead, sis. That thou hast forsaken the most high thy power, and that my fear is not in thee. See that? Thee. So, so this is, I don't mean, the, the, you know, I'm just trying to expound what you're reading, sis. So, but it, it says, it says the fear of the most high is not in, there's no fear in the people. They don't fear, we don't fear the most high. Could you imagine the, the thunders and the lightnings and everything like you being in there and everyone around you is seriously focused on worshiping the most high. Yes. And you not? Could you imagine the terror that that would bring if the most high out of all the people, because that's what we're coming down to. He's striking them from up out. Remember it says he was going to pluck up and uproot? Uproot those plants that are not, that he have not planted. Because they're not worshiping him. They don't fear him. The fear of the most high is crown exaltation. It said that. So nowadays, people, we don't fear the most high. 
because it was taught by the precepts of men and not how Yasha was teaching with power. Come on, read that again, sis. I'll let you read it from the top again, if you don't mind. No, from the top. All right. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backslidings shall reprove thee. Know, therefore, and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Most High thy power. And that my fear is not in thee, said the most that power of hosts. Mm -mm -mm. So you, brother, Bible give. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 20. For of old time I have broken thy yoke. Now, now stop right there for a second. Mm -hmm. So that means we were under bondage of old time. Think about the times of the of the judges. Yeah. The time when Israel did a great sin and they guess what they asked for? They asked for a king, a worldly government to be established here in the earth by a physical representation of a man when the most high power himself was our king. So the most high says from old time. So that means we've been doing this. I need us to hear this clearly. Come on, I'll bring it again if you don't mind. For of old time I have broken thy yoke and, and burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. I will not sin, most high. Go ahead. When upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, playing the harlot. The most high says, when under every place, every opportunity that you've gotten. You went and played the harlot. That means your worship, us keeping the things that we reverence, we didn't reverence him. We reverence the things. You even got people say, I worship you most. High. He gave me this house. No, you worship that house. Yeah. That's right. You didn't worship him. 21 is on me. Yet. Oh, uh oh, listen to this. Yet I planted thee a noble vine. It reminds us of what we were reading in Matthew 15. I believe it was Matthew chapter 15 that we were reading. Let me go back and just double check really quick. I'm coming back there. Oh, I can't. Let me see. Matt, where were we at? Matthew 15. Uh, I have to go right here. One second. Going right back here. Highlight this. I believe that's where Yasha says that every every plant that the Most High have not planted would be uprooted. The Most High is speaking to his people, the, the children of the Most High. He tells us that he planted us a noble vine. Holy, a right seed. How then are thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? How is it that we don't know our power? And we become strange to him. It's back on you. 22. For though thou wash thee with nitrate. Mm -hmm. So you're washing yourself, right? Go ahead. And take thee much so. You taking look, you trying to get the stench off of you. You try, let's say you were a painter and you paint, you trying to get that paint off of you, or you work on cars and you got oil. Wait, I'll make sure I work on cars. <laughs> so I got oil under my nails. You trying to get the dirt up off of you, right? Yes. You washing yourself good. Go ahead. Yes, thine iniquity is marked before me. So the most high said you don't wash yourself by what you why? Because you worship them with your mouth. But your iniquity, that means morally bad. When it came time to choose your choice and decide, decision making, you didn't do what he said to do. Say it the most high. Next. Just keep on reading. If How can this thou say I am not polluted? Then that's what, so one will say, well, I, what do you mean? I'm, I'm a holy. I'm doing, I'm doing what God, remember even what Saul said. Samuel Okay, the prophet said, what is this that, why have you forsaken what the Most High said? He said, I obeyed the Most High. 
right? And ex, not, I was going to say Exodus. And First Samuel's 12, I believe. If it's not First Samuel, it's second. He said, well, what is the bleeping of the sheep that I'm hearing? He said, but the people, the people told me, they pressured me. Is that you today? Is the people pressuring you? Come on. Yes. Okay. And it says, oh, I think, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So you say, I'm not polluted. I'll say, I am not polluted. I have not gone after Baal. Mm. See thy way in the valley. Know what thou hast done. Now, you know who Balaam was, right? Yeah. Uh, Balaam. Uh, Balaam. Oh, Balaam. Balaam was a, a necromancer, if you will. Oh, wow. He was a person that did spells and tried to curse people for, guess for what? For favor, for wealth and riches, mm. to make himself rich. Notice that now. Go ahead, sis. Okay. And it says, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, oh. no, no, huh? see now, see that way in the valley? Know what thou has done. The Most High wants us to know what we have done. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Thou art a swift drone, Gary, transversing her ways. So like a, a donkey in heat. <laughs> Next. 24. A wild donkey is to the wilderness that snuffeth up the wind at her pleasure. In her occasion, who can turn her away? So when she says she's about to do this, she ain't, she's intense on the wild donkey on setting her, doing what she set her mind to do. Go ahead. All they that seek her will not weary themselves. In her month, they shall find her. Mm. Next. <laughs> Withhold thy foot from being unshod. And thy throat from thirst, but thou saidest there is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. Hmm. Now that's very that's crystal clear. We read today, brothers and sisters, that gluttony, which is brought out in a minute, was greed in overindulgence and eating. Hmm. So this is, and listen, if you live in the flesh in this world, and if you don't discipline yourself to, and have the fear of the most high, there's no fear of the most high in you. It's almost natural to do. It is natural. It's second nature to do in the natural world. I now want to turn our attention to, I'm going to put the book of Josephus up. Okay, let me see. It might be small. Let me just, I'm going to stop right here. We're now going to segue over to, that's right, the book of Josephus. Book four, chapter eight. And we're going to start at line 180, okay? And we're going to read through 182. So it's a good amount of reading to read there. So let me just see what it looks like on your screen before I share it. Uh, the Josephus, I'm going to put it on the screen here now. Book four, right? And oh yeah, it's really, really, it's so small. I don't think no, it's I, I'm looking on a laptop and you're not gonna be able to see it. So I'm not I'm not gonna even try to put this on the screen, brothers and sisters. I need you to uh look it on your phone. I'm gonna we're gonna call out what passage that we're reading, but it's gonna be hard for those um if you're watching the video for us to put this on the screen. We can't do that because it's just too small. So again, I'm at uh, book four, chapter eight, and I'll show you what it looks like just so you can see it, but there's just no way that I'm going to have this on the screen. It's chapter seven, chapter eight. Look at this real quick. This is what it would look like if I was to share the screen. Look at that. It's I, like my eyes are squinting. <laughs> and I'm on the laptop looking at it. Yeah, that's, it's just. I can see it a little bit. I can see it. You you can see that? Yeah, I can see it. You, you want me to leave it on the screen? 
Yeah, you, you can leave it. You can leave it. Okay. I can see well, it, every, everyone that can't see it, then let me see if I made it big. Yeah, see, if I made it big, it goes out of there. So I have to leave it at the size that it is. Everyone that can't see it, right? Because I'm, I'm just, I got my book right before me. So I'm going to follow along. Uh, it is book eight, right? Book eight. Yeah. Book four, chapter eight. eight book four, chapter eight, line 180. So let me get to line 180 because I'm here. It's really small. I see 15 there. Let me just find where we are here. Man, I'm looking at this. I'm like, ooh, it's hard to see. Book four, chapter eight, verse 180. I see 17 there. This I'm making my screen big. I can really see it. Okay. Yeah. I can see it. I'm not seeing I'm trying to get there. Hold on. Huh. I can't. Where am I supposed to even? I see 32 there. Let me make that sure. That, that that's a book for it. Let me go back where I'm at. Oh, that says chapter. I need a book. What book is this here? It's chapter six. It's chapter, oh, this is book four. Yeah, okay. So I went to chapter, chapter eight. Five, six. Look for it in chapter eight, chapter seven, chapter eight. Okay, so here's chapter eight, and we're going to start right where it says. What does it say on line one eighty here? One second. Yeah, give me one second. I know it's taking a little. It's a little bit of time. Look for chapter eight. Coming up on it, I see chapter eight, and we said line one eighty, right? So one eighty, that that is it. It says, "Oh, you Israelites." So if you would take that away and read all the way, yes, yeah. Why don't you read all of that to? Uh, yeah, but just go to one eighty though. The line one eighty. Okay. So yeah, 180, you can read all of 180, okay? And then the next person to, the next person will read 181, and then the next person will read uh 182, and then we'll jump down to 189 to 191. Go ahead. Okay, we're starting at uh verse two. It says where it says the two. Yes, sir. Okay. Where it says, Oh Israel, oh you Israelites. Okay, oh you Israelites and fellow soldiers who have been partners with me in this long in this long and uneasy journey since it since it is oh that's 177 i'm sorry hold, hold on one second brother that's not where we want to start we want to start it just reads a little bit different on the screen so i'm trying to get right where we want to start at. here it is let me highlight it for you this is where we're supposed to start at okay yeah take it all the way from there and what's the last thing that it says of want okay We're on one seventy seven. What are you going to know? Uh, this is one eighty right here. It just it, it looks different here. On it says, "Hold on, things you already have." Here you go. There it is. Okay. Oh, children of Israel, there is there is but one source of happiness for all mankind. The favor of the Most High, higher fifteen, for He is alone and is able to give good things to those that deserve them, and to deprive those of them that sin against Him. Towards whom, if ye if you be, behave yourself according to His will and according to what I who have well understand that His man, His mind, do as it do is all is is all exhort you exhort you to you will be both to be esteemed blessed and will be uh, be admired by all men will never come into misfortunes nor cease to be happy you will de you will then pre preserve the possessions of the good things you already have and I will quickly obtain those that you are 
at present in one. Uh, yeah, and one of there you go. One of all, one of all, uh, what's it? One of all. Yeah, I think that's it right there. And want of. A want so, of. Yeah. So, so again, reading that last sentence that you read, and it says, um, "You will preserve the possession of the good things you already have, and will quickly obtain those things that you are present want of." And let me just highlight the part that I'm going to read. I'm going to read 181. And it starts at only do you be obedient, but I wanted to see where it ends at. Uh, just the last thing says enemies. Do your lives. Here it is. I think this is it right here. It says, only do you be obedient to those whom the most high would have you follow. Nor do you prefer any other constitution, see that, of government before the laws now given you. Neither do you disregard the way of supernatural or ordinance worship. Now, I know it says divine. So the, the true way of worship, which you now have, it says, nor change it. For any other form, and if I need to, I need to, I need to uh, really uh, hone in on that. If you do this, you will be the most courageous of all men in undergoing the fatigues of war. And make no doubt about it, we're in the war because the war is not against flesh and bones, but against principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness. Spiritual wickedness in high place places. And will be and will not be easily conquered by your enemies, it says, right? You will not easily be conquered by your enemies. Now, uh, the next one, someone's going to read. Uh, do you have it, Michelle, before you? No, go ahead. It's, it's messed up on. Okay. Skips. Uh, it, it says 182 now. So it starts at, for while the Most High is present with you. Let me see what the last thing it okay. says. I can read it. Can you want to read it? Yeah, hold on one second. And the last word it says here, it bestows abundance of. All right. That would be the next line to read. Um, can can you can any of you see that that are here? So we can keep going in. I, I highlight it. it says for while the most high is present. I'm trying to look at it online. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How about you, Sister Kimmy? Do you have, are you are you there? I know it seems like it's kind of hard. I'm just going to read it from here. This next one, so that way we don't have to keep going like this. Yes, I actually have a Josephus book, so I'm reading along. But I'm glad you're highlighting it because I, I don't. It doesn't have um, verses. Yeah. <laughs> it don't. It don't. That's why I was like, well, I want to make it interactive because it's something when you're reading it and saying it out of your own mouth. It's like your souls. Your, the, the, the power that the Most High gave you, you're reading his word. Okay, but uh, so um, you keep following. So any of you on this that's with us present? <laughs> go, go ahead, sis. Go ahead. Sister Destiny's going to go, and then you will be. I don't know where it ends. Do you have to tell me when to end? Oh, you don't see it highlighted? It's just a big paragraph. I'm on my own. Oh, okay. It ends at where the abundance of others. Go ahead. For while the Most High is present with you to assist you. So he's, he's present with us to assist us. It is to be expected that you will be able to despise the opposition of all mankind. That's right. And great rewards of virtue are proposed for you. He said he said he planned us a noble, a noble plan. Go ahead. If you preserve that virtue through your whole life. So if you if you preserve the way of worship, which is virtue, that means you got to be virtuous integrity. Go ahead. Virtue itself is indeed the principle and the first reward. 
And after that, it bestows abundance of others. There it is. And so then the next one at 182, it says for wait, uh, others. Hold on. 180, I read that. So, uh, oh, at 183 starts off. So that, well, we know we were supposed to jump down. Did I say the 182? Now let's jump down to 189. Let me see what 189 starts with. And that's where you uh, pick up, Sister Kimmy. 189 starts at, and I know you have it highlighted, but I got to find it. What I now put you in mind of. So remember that the Most High, through his servant Moses, told us to preserve and and, and do what? To, 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 to preserve the virtue, that, that virtue that he showed us, the way of worship, our whole lives. This is what we're supposed to teach to our children, our children's children, so forth and so on. And if we do that, then we will not be reproached by those who have possessed us. When they look at, they still look at, you know, as, as three quarters of a, or three fifths of a man, right? So going down to 189, it starts at what I now put you in mind of. So let me find it here on my screen. It's hard to find it here. If I'm looking for it. Uh, 189 says, what I now put you in mind of is not done. So by us telling and the, the, the sons, the servants of the Most High, bringing out this information, here it is, I found it. So this is where Sister Kimmy is going to read. And the last thing that it says before it goes to that is land of Canaan. Let me find that. All right, we're ready, Aquita. Aquakia. All right. All right. What I now put you in mind of is not done in order to reproach you, for I do not think it proper. Now I am going out of the world to bring this to your remembrance in order to leave you offended at me since at the time I underwent those hardships from you. Mm. I was not angry at you, but I do it in order to make you wiser hereafter and to teach you that this will be for your security. Say that again. And to teach you that this will be for your security. So the way that we're supposed to worship the Most High is for our security. It's not to, to reproach someone or that, that they might be offended. Go ahead, sis. I mean that you never be injurious to those that preside over you. Even when you are become rich, as you will be to a great degree when you have passed over Jordan, and are in possession of the land of Canaan. Wow. That hit home hard. Now, I can read if you have let, Yeah, let me, yeah, we get, we're going to 191. So let me, 190, uh, 190 says both sea and land. So why? Because this is going to be ours right here. Let me just highlight it for you. Trying to get where it says sea and land. It starts off with go see a man. Uh, no, it says since when you shall have once proceeded. Oh, okay. I'm saying where it ends at. Oh, okay. Entirely. And the lamb, I don't see what it says over here, the whole world. Hmm. 
One second. I don't see all this. Oh, yeah, there it is. I see that now. Found it. Now you're going to read uh, 190 now. You got it, Sister Veronica? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Show me a friend baby. <laughs> Somehow I lost it. Well, since when you shall have once proceeded so far by your wealth as in, as to a contempt and disregard of virtue. I need us to hear that. I mean, can you read that for me again? So it, it says that our people are going to go so far by their wealth mm. and disregard the virtue of what virtue? Okay. Everything that we're talking about. Shh, let's get it. It's about the ordinances of true worship. He just told us to put a great emphasis on this. It's worth more than money. It's worth more than gold. It's worth more than your savings. If you do this, it'll never run out. It'll be an eternal well that you can continue to draw from. Read that again, sis. Since when you shall have once proceeded so far by your wealth as to a contempt and disregard of virtue, you will also forfeit, forfeit the favor of the Most High. What did you just say? You will also forfeit the favor of the Most High. By doing what? By um, losing your virtue. Your That's standard right. Of holiness, your standard of righteousness. Mm. His, his standard, yeah, though. His standard. That he gave to us. Yes. Yeah. Now you on. Come on. Okay. And then it's. So you would lose the favor of the Most High, which it told us there's one source of so and so by default, if I may, that means then your happiness is gone, because your happiness, if you predicate your happiness on things, places that you go, the things that you obtain, then it's no happiness at all. The way that you feel at that moment, or the way that something makes you feel at that moment, if it's not, if it's not to the virtue and the way that He gave us to worship, that means it is for the win. It's going to be gone. Come on. Okay. And you will also forfeit the favor of God. Mm. Now that's the thing right there. Listen, listen carefully. Everyone listen carefully now. Read it loud now. Come on. And when you have made him your enemy. Did you hear that? What they do? When you have made him your enemy, you will be beaten in war. And that's why you've seen the holy prophet. And Joel saying, do not give your people to reproach. It's a war against us. Right. The crack epidemic, well, it's been a war against us. Right. Right. The war was about who's going to enslave God's people. Right. And now that God's people don't no longer want to work for the system to build up, there's like make their work harder now. Right. Come on. Um, you will be beaten in war and will have the land which you possess, take away again mm. from you by your enemy. So what happened to the Native Americans? Got their land took from them. What happened to us in 70 AD? Before that, when we were serving, that wasn't the land in, in uh, uh, that, that wasn't the, the land within our freedom because even that establishment was was set up by a, a what, what do you call them? The uh, Help me, Most High. The colonizers. So you had the colonizers that was over, and that was, you get what I'm saying, the Caesars of Rome domineering over the Bruce in Judea. See? So this is the things that was happening in 606 B.C. when the children of Judah were sent over to Babylon. 721 B.C. The Israelites, the northern kingdom, was taken by the Assyrians. The land that was getting now, 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 wait a minute, let's go a little bit further. The whole earth, not just that land, the whole earth was supposed to be for the most highest chosen seed to, to populate the whole world and to teach everyone. Come on, pick up where you left off at, sis. All right, and he said you're going to lose your land. Yes. And when once you have had the experience, of what I now say, you got wait, wait, wait a minute. You got to experience this. Mm. That means you got to feel this. Uh -huh. 
You don't know what it's like to be oppressed and downtrodden, having your land took from you, having to go to work all day and, and, and all your energy. They work, they work, work your whole life. And at the end, your house is gone. It's gone. Come on. When you have experienced this. When you have experienced and, and and when once you have had the experience of what I now say, you will repent and remember the laws you have broken. Yeah. Oh no, you went but you went over, sis. You oh, yeah, because you were supposed to go, it says that the land taken by your enemies, and then it says, and with oh, and with great there you go. Upon your conduct. Upon your what? Conduct. So it means that by the things that you do, the most high holds you accountable yes. for your actions, yes. for your speech. Yes. Can I go a little bit further? Mm -hmm. For your thoughts. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. You will be scattered over the whole world. Now you tell me that didn't happen. Yes, it did. Go ahead. And will... As slaves. As what? As slaves. Now, didn't we just read, is Israel and Jeremiah 2 and 14? Right. Is Israel a home-born slave? Right. Or is he a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Huh. Why, are you, why are you continually being put in slavery? Because we don't listen to the Most High. We don't worship him. As he, it says, listen, this virtue, don't ever disregard that. And never be injurious to those who preside over you in the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. If you want to eat healthy and heal your best, you've got to try Kachava. What oh, somebody's, okay, come on. Entirely fill both sea and land. So you will be scattered all over the world and will as slaves. Entirely fill both sea and land. Mm, okay, so now that stops at... uh. 90 so now 91 would be uh destiny and let me get it here and it stops the last word is Look, this one has some more to it well no this goes with it this is this oh, goes with but that's where she reads that right okay. now yeah yeah so I just i'm just like br breaking it down in parts so that we can read so yeah she's going to pick up right where you left off at but the last word was proper institutions read find it quick help me most high got you sister destiny Yes. And when once you have had the experience of what I now say, you will repent. You will what? Repent. You're going to turn, you're going to rend your heart and or your mind and not your garments. Go ahead. And remember the laws you have broken. So the most high want us to remember the laws that we broke. Come on. When it is too late. When it's what? Too late. At that point, it's too late now. Mm. You're like, man, you in the neck of your enemies. Your enemies got their necks. Your enemies telling you where you can go to school. Your enemies is teaching you. You want to go build the house? You got to go to your enemies. You want to buy food? You got to go to your enemies. What enemies? Those who hate you. No matter what you say or do, there are people who have victory off. It was inbred in them. There are spirits, spiritual entities that hate your gut because we hate our guts because we represent the, the, the holiness and the virtue that comes from the most high here on the earth. And the Bible says in Amos 5 and 10, those who speak are right in the gate, those who reprove in the gate, they hate him who speaketh right in the gate. Come on. Whence I would advise you. So now, now once I would advise you, go ahead. If you intend to preserve these laws, to leave none of your enemies alive when you have conquered them, mm. but to look upon it as for your advantage, advantage to destroy them all mm. lest if you permit them to live you taste of their manners and thereby corrupt your own proper institutions my goodness so that means that you would take on the uh how do you say this you would take on the customs of those who had domineered and ruled or those who have enslaved you so the most High told told moses and this time when they were making expeditions this is what you to do do not allow those uh, people to survive. Tear down everything that they have, because if you if you do that, you're going to you're going to do what? You're going to water down the way of divine or supernatural worship. You're not you're no longer going to fear me. Your children are no longer going to fear me anymore. They're no longer going to have this virtue to want to praise the Most High and do what He says because they don't even know it's for their good. 
And then by default, they, we have become an enemy to our own God. That was deep. And I said, uh, to, that, was not, that was 191, right? Okay, so now we're going to go over to just a little bit more. Let's go over to book six now. We're almost there. Book six. Let me see where book six starts at. Uh, book six. Let me go out of here. I'm leaving it on the screen, but I'm going to book six now. Five, six. And I want to start from chapter two, line, starting at line 20 now. So let me just find that really quick. And in book six, it says this. Book six, chapter two. I'm there. Line 20. It says, oh, you Israelites. Again. So now at this point where we're reading here, we're reading how Samuel, okay, the seer or prophet of the most high. Uh, book six. Yeah. Chapter two, line 20. So let me, let me find where this is at now. Oh, you Israelites. Mm, so book six, chapter two. Chapter two. Kind of get this. So I'm at. I'm at. That's chapter six. Oh, chapter five. The writing is really small. And then, okay, here we are. Chapter three. Chapter two. I'm looking. Oh, you Israelites. So like, here it is. And it stops at one second under them. You're up, Sister Kimmy. All right. Oh, you Israelites, said he, to whom the Philistines are still grievous enemies, but to whom the Most High begins to be gracious. It behooves you not only to be desirous of liberty, but to take a uh, to take the proper methods to obtain it. Nor are you to be contented with an inclination to get clear of your lords and masters while you still do what will procure your continuance under them. Be wow. righteous. I think, I think I think that was it right there. Under, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I think, right? Under the, let me make sure. Yes, that was it. So thank you. I really like the pace at what you're reading because it, it like really helps the words to sink in. So Samuel was telling the Israelites that they should desire freedom. Like we tell our people today, come out of Babylon, come out of these, these harlot tree houses or these high places. Come out of all the fluff and the, the glitter and the glamour and the, uh, how do you say it? Uh, uh, the, the glitter and the, and the sparkling things of the soothed sayings. And come, come to the word of the most high. And it said that is in a, in a synopsis, it's impossible to free yourself from those who those who domineer over you, who put you in slavery, by doing while doing the things that procure their dominance over you, by worshiping their gods, by saying that you're worshiping the Most High, but inquiring after the Most High as how they inquire after their gods, asking the Most High and giving the Most High ultimatums telling the Most High as the Most High is to come into our world and do what we need or do what we say as opposed to us doing what he says. So it says that nor are you to be contended with an inclination, okay, of a mind. So your mind to get clear of your the, the, those who are ruling over you, your masters, while you still do what will procure your continuance under them. 
So if that means if you if you despise the things that the most high loves, right? Mm -hmm. You despise the things that the most high love, but likes the things that he hates. How are we going to have his favor? That makes us an enemy against the most high. That makes us unprofitable. And Before. that's what we're highlight. That's what we're highlight or hoping to highlight and to edify here in today's Bible study. Now, uh, line twenty-one is going to be Brother Babaki, and let me just highlight what you're going to be, uh, so the part. So it stops at the Most High's performance should be right here. Mm. Okay. All right, you're up, Brother Bible Kid. Okay. Be righteous then and cast wicked out of your souls. Now, the soul is the invisible part of you that never dies. Now, there's a sense that it, that it could die because one can be alive and, as you know, and be dead, be full of uh, happy, or happiness and, and momentum and all that, but they're dead to the most high. Okay. And so, by, sorry, but I was just going to say, like, remember what the Most High told us in Jeremiah chapter two. He says, your wickedness, your, no, no, your own wickedness shall correct thee. So here we see Samuel telling the old Israelites, right, telling them to be righteous and cast wickedness out of your souls. Go ahead, Brother Babakia. And by your own worship. By your what? By, and by your own worship. So by your worship, come on. Supplicate the divine majesty with all your heart and preserve in the honor you may pay to him. Or preserve in the honor you pay to him. You, you, yes. Go ahead. Pay to him. For if you act thus. So no, notice how I said for if, and then there's a comma. For if. You act thus. If you do this, come on. You will enjoy prosperity. You will be you will be free from your slavery, and will get the victory over your enemies. Which blessings it is not possible you should attain, either by weapons of war, or by the strength of your own bodies. Or by the multitude, or, or by the multitude of your assistance, for Ahia has not promised to grant these blessings, but by but by those means, but by being good and righteous men, and if ye if you will be such, I will be security to you for the pro, the performance. Of Ahia's promises. Beautiful. And then the last part here, let me read this here. When Samuel had said thus, line 22, we're on for anyone following and taking notes. When Samuel had said thus, the multitude applauded his discourse and were pleased with his, with his, uh, was pleased with his exhortation to them and gave their consent to resign themselves up to do what was pleasing to the Most High. So Samuel gathered them together to a certain city called Mizpah, which in the Hebrew tongue signifies a watchtower. There they drew water and poured it out to the Most High and fasted all day and betook themselves to their prayers. Crystal clear. So there they went to him, uh, went before the Most High with their fasting and with their prayer. And now we're going to read also 23 now. Line 23. And let me highlight that now.
Where is it in that here? Now we're prepared for it. Okay, here we are. So line 23 says, does anyone want to read it? I'll read it. Okay, we'll want to keep the order. Okay, we'll keep the order of it. Um, how about you, Sister Kimmy? Okay. This, their assembly did not escape the notice of the Philistines. So when they had learned that so large a company had met together, they fell upon the Hebrews with a great army and mighty forces as hoping to assault them when they did not expect it nor were prepared for it. For the time when you least expect it, the enemy is going to come and try to, right when you think that you're getting ready to worship and have joy before the most high, he's going to come right there and try to discombobulate you and rattle your cage, knock you right off your rocker. And if you didn't take heed to what the Holy Prophet was saying, that the, the word of the most high gave him, the vision, then you will be taken by it. Okay. So it says in uh, line 24, let's get line 24. It ends at, uh, well, that's a long one here. So I'll get line 24. Assistance and stop at the deliverance from the Philistines. Where's it at? There it is. It's on you, Brother Bob here. Okay. This thing affrighted the Hebrews. So it affrighted them and made them afraid. Go ahead. And put them into disorder and terror. So they so they came running to Samuel and said that their souls were sunk by their by their fear and by the former defeat they had received and that since it was that they lay still least we should incite, incite the powers of our enemy against us now while now while thou hast brought us hither to offer up our prayers and sacrifices and take oaths to be obedient our enemies are making an expedition against us while we are na naked and unarmed. Wherefore, we have no other hope of deliverance but that by the means, by thy means, and by thy assistance of a higher, by the assistance a higher shall afford us upon thy prayers. To him, we shall obtain deliverance from the Philistine. Okay. And I actually had you read 23 and 24. So 25, so, and we'll do that just to knock out a big portion because we're going to go down to 29. And then I had some other stuff, but I might give a synopsis of it and then we'll pray out. So moving this forward here uh, from line 25 all the way to, uh, I guess I'll hit the 26 then right here. Highlight all this. All right. You know. Yes, right here. So I'll do line line 25. Uh, it says, what else? Against the enemies. One second. I'm trying to see where it uh, where it ends at here. Let's see where does this stop at here. 25, so the last word is over their enemies. Right here. Let's 
Line 25, hereupon Samuel bade them of good cheer and promised them that the Most High would assist them. And taking a suckling lamb, he sacrificed it for the multitude and besought the Most High to hold his protecting hand over them when they should fight with the Philistines and not to overlook them, nor suffer them to come under a second misfortune. Accordingly, the Most High hearkened to his prayers and accepting their sacrifice with a gracious intention and such as was disposed to assist them, he granted them victory and power over their enemies. Line 26 now. And we'll also do 27. All right. 26 and 27. And make it. I back on anyone in here that would like to read. If not, then it would be Sister Kimmy. Line 26, if you would take us away. 26 and uh, all the way to 27. 26 and 27. Okay. Now, while the altar... Well... Hold up a second here. Wait a minute. Yes. Now, while the altar had the sacrifice of God upon <laughs> of the Most High upon it, and had not yet consumed it wholly by its sacred fire, the enemy's army marched out of their camp and was put in order of battle, and this in hope that they should be conquerors, since the Jews were caught in distressed circumstances mm. as neither having their weapons with them nor being assembled there in order to fight. But things so fell out that they would hardly have been credited though they had been foretold by anybody. For in the first place, the Most High disturbed their enemies with an earthquake and moved the ground under them to such a degree that he caused it to tremble and made them to shake in so much that by its trembling, he made some unable to keep their feet and made them fall down. And by opening its chasms, mm. he caused that others should be hurried down into them after which he caused such a noise of thunder to come among them and made fiery lightning shine so terribly round about them that it was ready to burn their faces. And he so suddenly shook their weapons out of their hands that he made them fly and return home naked. Well, brothers and sisters, you've heard that will conclude here, the Bible study portion of today's Sabbath service and worship. And one thing I would like us all to walk away remembering is that the Most High told us that we are never to ever deviate or turn away from the supernatural way of worshiping Him, and uh -huh. that this one source of happiness. Happiness means blessed. It means peace. It means favor, tranquility, wholeness, virtue. Is the favor of the Most High upon your lives. And if you would submit and surrender your cares, your worries, your sins, the things that you desire, okay, the things that that you may be in present need or even in want of to the Most High, 
Trust and believe that he is able to make everything abound and work for your good according to his perfect will. So in, in closing, we see how the Most High told us over and over that he had delivered us. He broke the yoke off of our necks. Amen. And every time we did that, we said that we would not sin against him. We would not transgress when under every high place we ran, like it said, a donkey looking for its lovers. I pray that today's message, and if you've witnessed and partaked in this service, I pray that you were able to feel the presence of, of the holy visitation of the Most High, Ahia, his goodness, his goodness towards us, his stirring us up by way of remembrance of the things that he has spoken to us from old, the things that are ordained. I pray for the Most High's hedge of protection, his hand upon your life. I pray that you surrender all to him. And as we started off at the four hours ago, praise him, praise his holy name, praise him. Ba -da 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 -da. Praise him. Praise his holy name. If you do that, you will find in the end it will go well for you. And, and even through the storms, you will be at perfect peace. So fall into his hands. Let us fall into his hands. Let us not fall into man's hand and let us not be injurious to those who the Most High has placed over us, those who do the ministry and the work in his vineyard. With yeah. that, I'm going to go ahead and close out. And uh, Brother Babakuya, do you, you feel if you would like, would you like to have uh, prayer us out and decree and declare the words? Yes, yes. Okay. And again, let me say thank you for everyone, uh, those who have attended live, who continue to lift up uh, this ministry and not just this ministry, but all of the saints of the Most High that have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We shall soon see Zion. We got to keep marching to the kingdom, family. So stir it up in your mind. When you're ready, Brother Babakia, all right. uh, the floor is yours. You all ready? You all have been blessed by today's word? and Yeah, praise you, Haya. All right, family. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word that went out today. We thank you for all those who attended. We thank you for the gathering of your Holy Spirit and your Holy uh Word of bringing yes. us together on the Shabbat Sabbath day, on this this last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We thank you for the feast that we had. We thank you for your love and your guidance and your meekness, your righteousness, your dignity, integrity, devotion that keeps us going every single day. Uh, yes. No matter what, all the wiles of the enemy is try to stir up and that's right, and and and, 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 and try to hinder. But you always. Hmm bring us and get us through all things that we are all facing every single day. No matter what the world has tried to, to stir up against us, we yes. are always strengthen us every single day. So we thank you, you for your love and your, 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 your intimate uh, comfort and your arm that you put around us like a blanket. You know, we thank yes. you for being the soil and the foundation of our life and the root of the soil of our life, Father Haya. Without yes. you, we are nothing, Father Haya. We thank you for your, your guidance. We thank you for our families and our loved ones. We thank you yeah. for protecting our, 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 yeah. our household and, 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 and every single thing that, that keeps us going every single day to keep faith in your word, knowing that you guide us no matter what, Father. No we matter what. For, 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 for being here for us, Father. We thank you for wake, wake, blessing us to wake up this morning, Father. We thank you for our children. We thank you for our marriage, we thank you for our families and our household. Yes. And even when we speak the word for those, Father High, that might not receive the yes. word at, our, uh, at the time that we, that you bless us and, and the Holy Spirit come over us to give the words for those who yes. might have ears. And they, right. even though they might not hear at the time, Father, we ask and pray, Father, that you, that you open up their ears so they can hear. Yes, so, so, they can. so we can, Father High, get and seek and be in your holy kingdom and be in your holy my presence. We thank you, Father, for the love that you shower on us, Father Higher. Yes, no matter what is going on in the world, Father, we take our minds off the world and place our minds upon you. You and continue to walk in faith and, and continue to, 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 to 
to to to be on on our on, on our watchtowers and, yes. and and pray for each other. And yes. Pray for even uh, Sister Martha Miller and all yes. and sister, every single one in attendance. We pray for uh, her her um, her dad. Uh, yes. Sam, 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 Sam. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Whatever whatever it, it is trying to stir up against your people, Father. I we really ask Father that you remove all illness and sickness and disease off our people, Father, and, and let us be transformed into complete total healing. Let the let our bodies function properly as you have made us, Father. Uh, you are not the enemy, Father, to prevail a prosper against us, but let us be sustained on solid ground. Let our feet never slip. Let yes. us be sustained on solid ground and watch and walk on the righteous path and the straight and narrow, Father. Yes, Father. We pray for our families, Father Higher, to not be dragged down to the pit, Father, but for them to wake up and feel your holy anointing as you're placed over all of us. We all have a chance, Father, to 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 get to your kingdom, Father Higher. Yes, Father. Your one, Father, we, we in all the prayer studies we have we have we have uh done, Father Higher. Yes. You know, many brothers and sisters don't know uh, what's what was what's ahead of them if they do not come, Father Higher, and, and return right. back to your holy mighty commandments. That's, That's right. We they don't know what's ahead of them. We need you, Father Higher, to touch and remove the enemy demonic forces that has been placed on our lives. Just like Brother LT was saying earlier, you got brothers and sisters that's on the corner and drinking beer and, and, yeah. and hanging out on the corners and, and not, don't understand what's going on around them, but don't, don't understand the uh, 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 destruction that's coming. That's Father, right. We need, Father, your holy presence around us all the time. We need your holy mm -hmm. mighty helping hand to. To, to continue to Father Higher, bless us to push forward and, 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 and not allow the enemy to, to prosper or prevail against us. Let not our prayers or our life or our blessings and miracles or our spiritual holy walk with you, but by keeping your commandments, statutes, your laws be hindered by the yes. evil spirit. Father, let none of our blessings be hindered. Let yes, none sir. of our spiritual walk be hindered. Let nothing whatsoever, Father, that you that we need, Father Higher, to continue to be walking in, in in your holiness of your order uh, uh, as as, yes. as moses came down the mountain the people said they would do but they disobey your commandments yes, they disobey your commandments father and we ask that you continue to father give us strength father we need yes. your strength and you need are you. our strength father higher yes you are your yes. holy my presence and the yes. life father higher yes. allow not the enemy to 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 prosper against them but allow us yes. to be risen father higher as we were yes. Father, in the in the congregation of the dead before, yes, now, you have woken us up, Father. Are you woken us up and being not and, and, and walking around in the congregation of the dead, but we walking around in holiness because yes. you are dangerous of our life. You are dangerous, not, Father. I accept anything lesser than what you nothing are lesser. Us, That's right. We pray right now together in unity, in and unity, love and sisterly love be ordained of our life, so we yes. Now, so we know how to treat each other and love one another. So we know how to treat each other. That's right. And, 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 and come together in unity with the enemy. Do not want us to unify, but with your holy power. And unify. we all come together under your commandments, your statutes, your laws, to That's keep right. your feast days, to keep your holy keep your Sabbath, days. to keep your commandments yeah. as you're ordained. You said, you said if, 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 you, if you keep my commandments, why shall you die? Why so we now keep the commandments and come back to you, Father, and we thank you for not allowing the enemy to 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 um uh, allow us to to go uh, so far astray that we're not able to come back to you. But we yes. thank Whoa. you for blessing us and sending your Holy Son, your Child, who died for us. He rose on the third day. He's alive today. He is the Son of the today. Most High, the power of the Father Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, the yes. Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. We thank you. For all the love that you've given us, Father, without your love, Father, how will we make it, Father? How will we make it without we, your we, love? We don't know how we will make it, but with you, Father, you you you've given us strength, you've risen us up, and, yes. and we we all have had faults, Father. Well, now we repent and return back to you. Yes. Give you all the glory and praise. No one gets the, the, the no one gets the glory and praise as you as you, you are the right. only one who gets the That's glory right. and praise, Father Higher. Give you all the wish. No one above you, Father Higher. No one above you. No one. Ask that you bind every single demonic force. Bind them from the every To be bound up and let them be cast out in the pit of cast our darkness in the mighty name of Let no wickedness, let no wickedness 
prosper against your people. And no wicked. And nothing prosper. whatsoever hinder nothing the whatsoever. lives of your people. Keep us safe. Let nothing uh, hinder keep us. Our health, keep, keep us healthy. Keep our health most let us be yes. let us be sustained on sustained. solid ground and holy. That's right. Thank you, Father, for your love. We just thank, thank you, you and put you in, in remembrance and in your yes. son in remembrance for all yes. your sons. Yes. He has put us in did so many things for all people who even don't even know what they That's have right. done. They just walk yes. around, Father, like, like they zombies, but they don't even right. understand what Yeshia has done. If you mm. Touch and we pray right now for those yes, who are into the world. Yes. There still has a chance before it's right. over, Father. We just pray that you remove. These demonic forces off of the that's minds right. of your people and every single curse that's been placed against us, we ask that you remove them, whether yeah. it be a family curse or generation curse. We just ask that's that's right. God, that you be our guides and, and, and help us to make the right steps and the right uh, decisions. The right decisions. Yes. Fall, higher, fall back Decision the world so we can continue to walk in, 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 in your faith, what you said, but yes, you said right. without faith. Uh, uh, the faith without faith is, is dead work. So that's right. I'll be thank you for your love. We thank you for, for every single thing that you have brought to our remembrance so we can remember what you have told us from day one. That's right. Remember what you, you for told your us love. Today. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. We thank you for your angels of heaven. We thank you for your creation from day one when you said, Let yeah. there be light in his life. And right, you separate right. the light from the darkness, from all that's the heavens right. of the earth, from all the foundations mm-hmm. of any, even the climates of the earth, you, and every single thing that you put in the earth for even your people, Father. You put this for all men. Even your yeah. side said, My house shall my house shall be a house of prayer yeah. for all men. All, people, all men yeah. has a chance to, to Father Higher to come that's up. That's right. To all men have a chance. Holy, but you said you would not accept anything lesser but holiness. That's right. Holy is the order we thank you for your holy, holy mighty power in your heads. Of protection over our lives. We thank you for not allowing us to fall back and, and, right. and be overrun by evil spirits. Woo! Give praise the, the higher. power, Father Higher, which is your power, the power of the spirit of the serpent, the serpent yes. all the powers of the enemy. And you thank me, thank you, Father. As you said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, you said, and to even heal all thy diseases. That's right. You, Father Higher. All manners of illness and diseases. That's and right. Thank you, Father Higher, to continue to guide us. Yes. And let us, Father Higher, uh, uh, continue to walk in faith and, and, and not slip whatsoever, Father. We just thank you for your holy my presence. We thank you for, for Brother LT for leading us and, and helping us with this study, Father. We thank you for every single one, Father Higher, who participated, who comes through, to come through, Father Higher, and joins us on the Sabbath day, Father. And even many more people, Father, even as Brother LT. Was, yeah. was 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 playing the music as I sent out the, yeah. the, the study to out to many people. Father, I know that we have a sister on her, and I know many other people, Father Higher, who yes. want to hear your word, Father Higher. We yes. ask Father that you remove the deaf, Father, uh, the deaf spirit that keeps your people from yeah. your remove word. it, Father. Remove it and let it be canceled, let it be cursed and be cast yeah. down off cast the earth of your people. So you can hear your word. You say, He that have heard. Let them hear. So I ask in the mighty name of Shia, as we pray all together, as we are joined together, you said, it, it, when two or more are gathered in your name, you are in the yes. midst of the deep. We ask, Father Higher, that you remove this evil demonic force off of the earth of your people that keeps them in, into the world and let them receive, Father Higher. Receive. It's not understand that you learn, even though the people, Father Higher, that, that is trying to come unto you, but it may might be someone or something or evil spirit that's trying yes. to keep them from returning back to you, whatever demonic force. Yeah. Whatever demonic force. To keep your people from turning back to you, Father, we ask that we move it and cast it, move it. down. Move it. Find it, Father. Name your Shire as we pray together, Father Higher. We pray this together. You can do, Father, we ask because you're more willing, you're yes. more able, you have more than the ability yes. and authority the power to do so even more than what we ask or what we can ever imagine. And nor your hand is not short, nor your powers are weak or limited or restricted or stopped by anything, by anyone, by any means. Father, you are able to do all things. There's nothing mm-hmm. on the earth you cannot do. There's no situation that you cannot bring There's your people no. out of, but they have to have. Yes! Father, I asked to have. There's no situation you cannot bring us out of. Ask, you shall receive. You said, seek. Ask, and we shall receive. The door shall be open for everyone. Yes. That Turn it up, time. You shall receive. For he that seeketh. 
shall find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be open. And the yes. mighty name of Shia, you said, and Shia said, for all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, yes. ye yes. shall receive. In the mighty name of Shire, I just pray for all our brothers and sisters to come to your uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, holy mighty uh, 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 yes. existence to 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 ask so they can receive the holy mm -hmm. mighty gift. I just pray right now. Right now. Right now. We need to be in a way that is not of you. That's not of you, Father. We don't want it, Father Hire. We ask right now, Father, that you do the will of Father and help us come back to you and help us come back to do what it is that you have to do with him before us. We're sorry for what you have done, Father. We're sorry for the things that we have done. Lord, our wickedness, Father, you have saved my life. With the you know, so high, we need you, Abba. And I thank oh, you for all prayers that you have sent for me, Father. I thank you for every single thing. Oh, thank you, Father, we thank you for your love. Oh, we thank you for your God. Oh, we cry, oh, 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 Yes, yes. Not one enemy yes. to prevail, prevail against us, protect yes. our thoughts, protect our ears, protect our yes. dreams from the yes. enemy, Father Higher. Protect our health, Father Higher. And let all yes. time that's been stolen and was hindered by Satan and his minions and cohorts be yes. canceled. We ask, yes. Father, that you can cancel in the name Father of Father Higher to, yes. to, to restore feast days, the special yes. moments, special seconds, special yes. minutes, special hours, days, noon, evening, nights. Months and years that the locust and caterpillar and the cow sperm yes. and the mop have eaten, please restore it, Father Higher. And let not one more moment, second go by for the enemy to think that he's going to prevail against your people. Let him be disappointed, Father. Yes, with the enemy. Yes. Let him be cast down. Let every single demonic forces and powers be stripped and be brought down to let the power from them most and high. Be expelled back in the outer. Oh, 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 my people belong. May the name come for you. No enemy shall pray, prevail or cross against us. That's but right. we all be sustained with the Holy Spirit of our life, with the right. guidance of the Father in heaven. In your shot's name, we pray for all these things and yes. so much more. We thank you, Father Higher. And, and yeah. even then, even though, Father, we with that being said, we believe it, we receive it, we yeah. accept yeah. it, and we claim this in the mighty name of Shia. The best mighty name Shia. We thank you for all. Praise done and many more prayer meetings and Bible studies to come. Yes. We thank you yes. for in the great mighty name of Shire. Do we pray for all these things and yes. so much more? We thank you, Father. And Shire, yes. Amen. Yes. So, be uh, so be it. So be it. Praise him. Yes. Praise, praise him. Thank you, Father. Praise the holy name. Thank praise you, him. Praise, God. praise his holy name. Praise. Yes. Him. Praise his holy name. Yes, anointing of the Holy Spirit. 
spirit most high abides upon us. Yes. Your favor most high yes, abides upon us most high. Yes. Victory abides upon us. Yes. The strength and victory is in thy hand. Yes. Alone, most high. So we bless you most high. Thank you the so much. The same way you. that you made the ground to quake. Yes. Yes. Shake yes. most high. The enemy was, he was, he was baffled. Yes, he thought yes. he was going to pounce upon Woo. your precious elect, Most High. Woo. But he didn't know that Most High, you was doing all these Thank things God. so that you can bring honor and yes. glory to yes, your Lord. glorious and mighty and wonderful oh my goodness. and Praise terrible God. name, O Ohio. Praise oh, Ohio. Father, we thank you, Most High. Thank, thank you for God. making us grandparents. Thank you for making us uncles and aunties. We pray for the youth. We pray for uh, young uh, young Isaiah. We pray for young Aaron. Yeah, all of our we brothers. Pray for Julie. We pray for the Davis family. Oh. We pray for the Mauer family. We pray for yeah. the Sanders family. We pray for the Carlton family. We pray for the Pearson family. We yeah. pray for the Hobbs family. We pray for the Richards family. Most high, we pray for thy holy elect people, most high. Right, we pray that thy will, most yes. high, be done in each of our lives on earth. Yes. As it is in heaven. Yes. But this is the day. Woo. That the most high. Praise the higher. We pray for the Herbert family, the Armstrong family, and we're praying for our sister Kimmy and her family, most high. Yeah. And all of the members of the body of Herbashia. We pray for Sister Narrow Path, most high, and her yeah. family. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Sister Yapa Q and her yeah. family. We pray for the Johnson family. We pray for Dirac Ibar and his family. We yeah. pray for Hezekiah and his family. We pray for Sister Ida Awar and her yeah. family. Yeah. For the last yeah. family, for the Marquez family, for the Ferguson yeah. family. We pray, like we sing up the yeah. pray yes, of Lord. worship unto thee. Send yeah. praises up, most high. Yeah. Blessed be thy name, most high. Yes, Father. Do not allow the canker worm to continue yes. to eat and pillage yes, that Lord. which you have ordained and yes. sanctioned. For your holy elect people, Most yes. High. You said that you would go before Thank us, Most high. high, and that you would prepare a way of safety, Most High. Yes. In thy hands do we fall into thy hands, for we know that, Most High, that you are our exceeding yes. great reward. Yes. So we do not give anyone the praise, the worship, and the honor. We pray for the Fuller family, for the Cherry family, for the Deacon family. We bring every man, woman, and child on the face of this earth. We pray for Brother Babakia and his family, Most High, for our siblings, for our nieces and our nephews, our, our yes. great nieces and nephews, Most High, our cousins. We pray for our parents, our grandparents, Most High. We pray for those, Heavenly Father, who have been downtrodden, where the children of Israel said that their soul, their hope begin to sink out of their soul, Most High. Yes, bring it into our remembrance, yes, Most High. And give us a Lord spirit of boldness, Most High. Lord your words in Zechariah 4 and 6, not Lord. by strength and not by might, but by thee. Because the Most High, Ahia says, That's right. victory belongs to you, and Praise you God. give the victory to the few over the many. Yes. I pray that we be counted worthy Thank to God. escape the perils of this world Thank you, and God. stand before the Son of Man and receive an everlasting crown of life. Yes. And white garments, which signifies the righteousness yes. of God's holy saints. Father, we pray for the healing of the nations. We pray that, Ooh. Father, keep us sensitive to your word. Yes. Open up the hearing of our understanding. Open up the eyesight of our spiritual understanding yes. Yes. so that we might be able to grasp and understand that where your word says where there is no vision, the people perish. But today you've given us a holy vision. We yes. reported it here today in this Sabbath service on this time. We thank you for this whole uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread. It's like any yes. other before. And yes. so, Father, yes. remember us for your great name's sake, not for us, but for your name's sake, Most High. Bring honor and glory and protect thy heritage, Most High, yes. thy people Israel, and such as be of a clean heart. With every blessing that you pour out upon us, yeah. I will, we will, as your sons and daughters, be ever mindful to never give anyone the praise, the worship, and the honor that only belongeth unto you. Oh, you and so we thank you, Father. We pray that most high that you would uh, uh that you would command peace and restoration. Yeah. So thankful that Sister Martha Miller came. And even those who are behind the scene, there are people who are watching. I know beyond any shadow of a doubt. Yeah. They're saying, what is this? Yeah. 
And I just pray for those who cannot see. And I just pray, Father, that you would send forth the, the morning women. And I pray that you would send forth prophetical, spiritual uh, prayer words and yeah. intercessor prayers that would not Ooh, hold yes, praise their Lord. watchtower. They would not hold their peace, most high. Yes. We prophesy into the wind and we prophesy against Ooh. this beast kingdom in the name of your shine. Yeah. Make it fall, most high, Ooh, and show your strength mighty, high. most high. For there is yeah. none greater than thee, most high. Thou art the omnipotent, almighty, yes. all powerful. Yes. Most high of all. Yes, praise Lord. Make the babies that have been born in the truth. Yeah. The babes that uh, uh that the, the breasts that give suck most Ooh, high, yes, Father. the feeble amongst us most high, the hands that lay low, and may Zion put on the beauties of the, the garments of beauty and praise and holiness and take off the garments of mourning. Yeah. It is time to worship our blessed King Yeshia Hamashiach yeah, and right. give adoration to the most high of hosts. His father, our father, the one and true living power, the creator yeah. of all things, the creator of the heavens, the creators of the earth, yeah. and all that there is within them. So we pray for the, the animals, the fowls of the air, the fish of the sea that swim through the waterways, yes. beasts that creep in the field. Father, we all bow down uh, along with the holy archangels and the in, innumerable amount of beings and even the four, you know, I talked about the the the, the four, uh, uh, it talked about the four, how do you say this? The four beings that that, that the most high, that is in his throne, that they are joined one to another, that have the wings touched to each other. As we join in all with the 24 elders in the heavenly realm, with Yeshua himself, our high priest, officiating this holy matrimony and this ceremony of biblical proportions. Bless all of those who sing your praise and those who perpetuate the name of Israel. Do not let any harm come upon them. Do not allow their understanding to be corrupted, most high. But may we be fortified and may we be rejoined to the rejoinder of our souls as Yasha has reconciled us back to you. And so we thank you, Most High, for the manifold blessings that you have bestowed upon us, the institution of marriage, the institution of, of family, Most High, the supernatural way of worship. Teach us and help us to be able to humble ourselves so that we can be taught. We strip ourselves of any uh, title, any self-sense of uh, entitlement or, or our own righteousness, and we make ourselves of no reputation because Yeshua made himself of no reputation. And with that, we decree and declare everything, the petitions that were prayed here today, the praise that have gone up. We thank yes. you for what we have felt and we, we could feel you all around us, most high. And so you said that you would be a wall of fire around about us. We would be, we would dwell in the city that was not, that did not have walls around it, but you would be the wall of fire around about us. You yes. are all consuming fire. And you want all of us. And I intend and propose to give you all of my worship and teach me that I may teach the generation to come. So bless and protect us. Seal us with thy Holy Spirit. Yes. Bless my marriage. Bless the my family, my children, my grandchildren, yes. and future grandchildren. All of those who you have entrusted in my care, Father. The Amen. same way that you told Yeshia, all Yeshia said, all those that you have given to me, I have lost none except the son of perdition. So, Father, yeah. we ask that you rebuke the devourer. We ask that you would cut off the path of the death angel. Yes. And every every uh, thing that they have conjured up and, and, and uh, uh, conspired against us, Most High, bring it out into the open. And may they be ashamed of their folly, Most High. And may those who trust in you never be put to shame, Most High. Yes, Father, mm -hmm. never be put to shame. So we bless you and we thank you. And we have decreed and declared the word. And now we go with your permission Yes. By the peace that you have instilled in us, that you have strengthened us spiritually, strengthened us physically, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, as well as financially of everything that we would need for the journey. And so, Father, I pray that your sons and daughters hear the prompting that the Holy Spirit nudging upon their heart. And I pray that the answer would be in Yasha, yes today and not no. And with that being said, Father, we... Commit ourselves unto thee, knowing that you yeah. are for us.
And we bless you and thank you for this yes, holy convocation. And such as a powerful time as this. Yes, Father. Precious and blessed name of Yeshia and the Father's children. We all say, Amen. Amen. So be it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Okay, glory to Ayah. Yes. All right, dear family. Most high bless and keep you all until the next time. Father Willow will be seeing each other for another uh, prayer meeting, another stirring. Go with the most high. May the most high go with him before you. And may he smite the enemy and put him under your feet. Yeah. That, keep looking up, family. Your salvation draweth nigh. All right, family. I'm going to go ahead, as we always do, play out to. That's right. We are, come on, the children. The real children. Of Israel. That's right. Tell them, tell them, Brother Bobby. We what? We are the real children of Israel. Come on. And the world knows it. They That's just right. don't want to, you know what I'm saying? The, the, right. the pride won't allow them to humble themselves, but we're praying for them that they would humble themselves unless they see the mighty hand of the Most High. Not right. So with that being said, without further ado, it is my uh, honor and pleasure to present to you by our brother Fred, okay, and the Most High, the, the Most High Ahaya, the mastermind behind it, the Most High Ahaya. We are the children of Forget Israel. Forget One second. Let's, yeah, let's forget all of the vanity of the world and let us come to the Most High and give praise and honor to Him. Praise Him. All right. Time of joy. I'm praising with you all. It was such a blessing to have your present. 
My granddaughter says hi and bye at the same time. Hey, oh. little cutie pie. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's adorable, Shalom. man. Shalom. Shalom. Feast, the last day of unleavened bread. What a sacrifice have gone up today. Those who are on here have witnessed it. We endured through the prayers that have gone through, the things that your ears have heard. You were literally brought close to heaven. And I pray that it was put in your remembrance this day. So go forth with the most high as the most high go with you. May he bless, protect, and keep each and every one of you. Father, we're in forward to seeing you all in the prayer meeting and Bible study yeah. Monday, 6 p.m. Okay, Pacific Standard Time. With that, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Summer, uh, onwards. Be blessed. Love you all. Love, brother.